and welcome to the E14 Toy Box Booster Battle. <gasps> Gasp mm. of amazement. So uh, I'm your host Rob and I'm joined by the sultry hands of my rock, the incomparable Blake Harmer. Say hi hands. Hi hands. <laughs> so we've got a Deadpool X-Force booster brick, 10 boosters for 50 figures in total. Okay. So there should be some good ones. I'm hoping there's some good ones in here. This is, so this has been sat on the side for far too long and I figured it's high time it just gets opened and the potential becomes reality yeah yeah D don't you just walk past it and just go what the bloody hell's in here <laughs> yeah yeah many times and I've yeah. got in a lot of trouble for doing so because I do it late at night <laughs> and poor poor Jess trying to sleep yeah you know so um what we're going to do is we're going to do the e14 booster battle system so the way it works is as follows we before we open each booster we take a guess at the rarest figure inside and if you get it right you get a point if you get the best booster out of the two in terms of rarity then you get another point Bing. thank you and if you get a chase your points are doubled for the round da, 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 da. thank you so uh there's a total of four points available per round how do you want to handle are there clicks effects in this i can't remember uh, i don't think I don't think Not there to are. My knowledge. I think there are primes. I know so. there is one. I know one of the models I pulled from a previous booster did have like a his own card, but I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, the that, headline cards. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure if that is specific no. for that character. Or Let's no. go with for this one. We'll add points for primes as well, so it'll be a bonus point if it's okay. like a super. If you pull a prime, so if it's a super rare prime, and you guess super rare, you get it right. Plus, you also get a point because it's a prime. Okay. Yeah. Sound good? Sounds like a fan. Awesome. Well, as my guest of honour, then you get to do the honours. But before you do, what do you hope to see inside this brick? Because I love the model itself, I want to see the Merc with the Mouth. Merc with the Mouth. Nice. So the meta yeah. one where he's stamping on the Heroclix yeah, game. Yeah, a giant, a giant Deadpool stamping on Heroclix, I think, is, is a brilliant idea for a model. And don't know why it took them that long to make one, to be honest. No, indeed, indeed. Um, I'm going to say Pirate Deadpool, because okay. I really, really love that piece. It just looks so silly with his hat on and his little wheel. And it comes. they come with little like uh, comic diorama things as well, which are quite cool. Um, okay. They don't count as Clicks FX for this mm. thing, because they're, with the chases, I think they all get one. So oh, okay. it's just a thing they come with. Yeah. Anyway, so let's find out what's in the brick then. Yeah. How exciting. <gasps> so what we're going to do with this one as well is we're going to have our booster battle and then there's going to be the Snyder Cut. We'll find another word for it that's Marvel friendly, yeah. um, which will be a more extended one where we go through the powers and the cards and talk about the figures and in a bit more depth. So we'll do this first and then we'll go away and do that. And it will all be stitched together. The, the viewers, you guys won't even know the difference. It will just be stitched together effortlessly and you'll be able to see that it's happened, but ultimately nobody will be the wiser in terms no. of, you know, it's not going to result in any extra editing time for them. No. You know, just for you just for me <laughs> <laughs> so but thankfully we've learned a lot from uh when we did with joe so we've been at, had a lot of problems we can avoid this time which we didn't know okay. so yeah. that'd be cool i'll supervise indeed indeed um so yeah and obviously what we'll also do this is the other thing that we've done so since we had a booster battle obviously we made a 300 point team out of our polls okay with this we'll do 600 Okay. No, I think so. We'll yeah. do a nice big back. So nice big, a good, good rumble at the nice end. Nice big then. rumble at the end. So what we'll okay. do is we'll we'll like put this together. We'll go away and we'll talk about the powers, and then we'll come back after that with all our pieces we've pulled, and we'll just kind of assemble a six hundred point force, or as close as we can get. So yeah. it, we'll we'll adjust. We'll see what we got. Yeah, we'll I'm, adjust sure, I'm pretty sure there'll be twelve hundred points in there. I think it's fair to say. Yeah. 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 It should be easy. Yeah, it's an average. Don't agree with us. Maybe. Get to Fuck Island. Or, 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 uh, <laughs> sure. or let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah. well, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Let, anyway, us know, let us know in Fuck Island. As my guest of honour, you get to pick first booster. Okay. So, what do you want to go for? Uh, I'm going to be awkward and go for that one. Back, back middle. Yeah. Interesting choice. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, X Force. X Force. Da -da 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 -da. X Force. I'm going to break all symmetry and choose the middle front. <laughs> <laughs> this will look good in the future edits. Yeah, so let's. Uh, so here's a tool that you can use okay. to uh, get rid of the seller tape. So, you know, that's, uh, we spend no expense here at the E14 Toy Box. Yeah. It's, um, it's very much, we were very much prepared because we've been burned before, haven't we, Blake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got that new Batman, there we are. Indeed. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna open mine now for the purpose of, not open it, open it, but get it. Get I'll get it so that I can get the tape on. 
So before you open it, yeah, um, obviously, obviously I haven't. It's just over yet to guess. Open. I have yet to guess. So, how do you think your first booster is going to go? I'm going to play it safe this time, especially after my disappointment in the last video, <laughs> and go with a rare. Yeah, we did end up with a score of zero, but zero all. <laughs> yeah, it was because we both guessed incorrectly. Yeah, it was rather disappointing. We just it. pulled all rares as well. Yeah, so it, was, it wasn't a strong, no. it wasn't a strong pull. We're going to get better results from this. I'd like, to, know, hope. I'd like to hope so. Well, I'd I'd like hope I so. fucking hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if not, all that waiting has been for nothing. So, first pick. Rare? Yeah, I'm going to go for rare on that one. Rare. I'm going to go super rare and okay. go hard or go home. Okay. So uh, why don't you do the honours and get us rolling? Right. Okay. Ooh. I've already failed that one by the looks of it. Are you safe? No. No, you haven't. Actually, you've done quite. You've done rather well. Ah. So uh, well, the, rarest, the rarest piece in that is Deadpool. He is not only a rare, he's also a prime rare. Oh, so sorry, you've got yeah. two points for that oh, one. Nice. Because okay. he is a rare prime. So what talk us through very quickly what else you've got. Yeah, I'll um bring that. I you have... don't worry about the whole thing, we'll do that. Okay. We'll just oh, just right, pop out the pop out the rarest, which will okay. be that one down the end. And he's then lovely uh, skull, he is nice. He's got the X Men colours on as well, which I've noticed. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. Right. 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 yeah. They're, they're more resilient sometimes. As long as they don't get broken in transit, they're usually more resilient. Yeah, it seems to be well. I think they're separated by looks. Yeah, yeah, they're probably easy to glue back on. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is the uh, oh, well, rare yeah. Prime Deadpool then. Yep. So we'll let's say there'll be a, an extended cut where you'll get to see these in a bit more detail, a bit more close yeah. up shots and stuff, so that's always good. And there's translucent plastic, so you can also see Rob's orgasm face. Not from here. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, maybe in this. Still. Though, is it? Still. Now, what would be hilarious if we ended up with a super rare prime from this one? Yeah. <laughs> so, ah, yeah. prime city. <laughs> so, who'd, have, who'd have funk it? It'd be hilarious if I can even open it properly. <laughs> Same school, kids. Well, that's a lame duck to start. Oh, no, wait. It's a super rare. Oh. Not, not a prime. No, so, I've got enough. a super rare dead girl. Okay. That's still a good good chant. Eh? Yeah, that's really cool as well. Look at that. that nice. It's almost nice like a model. It's almost like a marquee. Yeah. That's a nice model. But her bottom's on show. <laughs> what will the neighbours say? Um, otherwise, I've got a full killer, mercenary, asp, and bedlam. So yeah. right. So then, I make that two all. Yeah. Because I but won the round. Successfully yeah, guessed the one. Successfully guessed super rare. Yeah. And you and got, you got prime to that. Yeah, so, so, so make that two a piece. Yeah, start yeah, nice. two a piece. Equality, Blake. Yeah, this is our goal in the toy box. Is yeah. Nobody, nobody truly loses. And just so you guys know, I pull, also pulled a feral, a cable, a full killer, and a Wolverine. Okay, a different full killer as well, which is nice. Yeah. So we will uh, go through those later. Cool. Right. So uh, in which case, so it's two a piece at the moment. So I'm okay. going to make a note of that to one side. So just bear with me a second. Next pick. Okay. Um, I'm going to be even more awkward and go for this one. Front to centre right. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. To king. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go back far side. A little bit crushed at the side. Maybe it's the sheer volume of chasing something yeah. that's making it difficult. Yeah. All that, all that wonder. Yeah, indeed. So I'm just going to get these open quickly and then I'll pass you the tool so you can do the same. There we go. So let's have a look at some of the figures on this. So it looks like there's another dead girl because she looks like uh, this one here. I reckon there's more than one variant in this box. Oh, okay. So there's a, there's a um, so maybe, maybe a common or uncommon or something, and that's the yeah. better one. Um, there's some cool pieces in this for sure. Finally done. It. Finally done. It. Excellent. So, what's your pick, Arthur Train? Um, right. I'm going to say this is. I'm going to go a bit more risky and go. This is a super rare. All right. Well, I'm going to similarly go risky and say that this is a chase. Ooh. Mm. I'm just trying to one up you, really, aren't you? Probably. Only these two. I'll go back to playing the safe race. Okay. You know, I'm like. Well, if you call the chase, then so do. Well, <laughs> you know. Okay. So, after you, so after you, a good Hopefully, chat. this is a super rare. I'm a kind fellow. Or better. Da -da -da -da, still not probably chase. win the round. Da -da -da -da, not chase. Da -da -da -da, not chase. 
Indeed not Chase. Indeed not Chase. What's the nicest one? Mm. What's that? Looks like the rarest one there. Yeah, it don't look like... Um, what number is it? It's a Living Brain 48. 48. That looks... Oh yeah, it's a rare. That's a rare thing. Yeah. Oh well, that's still... You know. We'll have to figure out a tiebreaker mechanism if we need to. Yeah, that's, your, we'll that that's your rarest one there. Okay. Oh, so this is Living Brain. Ooh. So 70 points. Nice. Yeah. And what else have we got? Uh, and also I have a regular Deadpool, but with two blades out. Mm -hmm. um, a standard Ninja, mm -hmm. a Slapstick, and Psylocke. That's a nice Psylocke, I have that one. It's pretty cool. Mm. I think Sorry. I have a Psylocke, but she's from the Fast Horses. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, got well, both. I, ha I have both Deadpool Fast Horses. <laughs> so oh, yes, the Mercs Money and the, the, the other one. X Force one. Mm. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. No, it's a rare, uh, but that's cool. It's a nice one. So it's Deadpool in a rare form. Okay. Um, What's he got on his head? <laughs> looks like a helmet, of some sort. We'll probably see that in a bit more depth in the extended cut. Okay. 75, Seventy-five point Deadpool. He's a rare, so okay. we have a tie break, which we need to decide. I would say points, but that seems a bit unfair because I've already seen that, that my Deadpool's got more. So, uh, well, uh, I'm happy to argue. Where to be fair, it's a race to the bottom with this one. It's literally just one point that uh, I've grabbed. Uh, so. Yeah, yeah. There will be other. There will be other moments. Um, unless you want to add the entire points of the entire uh, yeah, five not? for that. Why not? You probably might win anyway. So, I think I'll just, so I'll anyway. run through what I've got as well. So I've got Wolverine, Madcap, Doctor Killabrew. And angel dust. Okay. So that totals up to three forty. Okay, I've got one fifty, one fifty, three ten. I'm on three two five, so uh, sure. Okay, just All right, so I edge that one. Yep, no, I'm happy to have you throw the point on that. Right, so that makes it three two to me then. Not bad, I mean, they're not the pools we wanted in the sense that they're not super rares and traces, but they were quite nice, they're quite nice pools. Yeah, not, I, I'm not disappointed, if I was, if I had purchased them and I, that's what I got, I wouldn't be disappointed with the, the, yeah. the one I got. So, so two to three, next round. Hmm. Just to eat, put a little bit of symmetry in, I'm going right. to go for that one. <laughs> I'm not sure what symmetry that adds, but okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, tell you what, in which case, do I add proper symmetry? Yeah, that's, what I, that's that what I was hoping. You do what I was hoping you'd do. You're playing into my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's a terrible thing. Yeah. Right. Said the man who's losing at the moment. Well, <laughs> you know. Like, we know how this goes. Let's be fair. It's a hero picks thing, and I'm involved. You're winning. <laughs> No, maybe not no, right not. now. Maybe not yeah. right now. But by the end, you will be winning. I don't know. After after the last game I played with you, when you stopped using your cursed dice. Oh yeah, I did use stop using the cursed dice. And I did. And I can't. I, I imagine you'll play. I you podiumed know, that one. We have a game coming up soon at the yes, time of recording. Fact, and I reckon he won't take his cursed dice, and I reckon he will just wipe the floor with all of us. I've actually done a little bit of reading around my team as well. So okay, I, you might be able to blame. It turns out all I needed was dice that weren't shit. And the basic common sense <laughs> to do some research. <laughs> oh, I, no I normally just play it safe and go, oh, that's a close combat guy. I'll have some range guys to back them up. Yeah, something. yeah. Well, I've just kind of gone, these are all the team I've worked together and some of these figures I haven't used. So that'd be fun. Right, I so I opened, but I didn't really see what they were, so don't mind. That's right. Um, I'm going to say this is, I'm going to play it safe and say it's a rare. I'm going to do the same. Okay. For this one, because I'm not 100% convinced that this one is a... Uh, is a strong one. Is a strong, is okay. as strong as the previous one. I'm going to it. see what I've got there. Yeah, cool. I see a headline card. Whoa! So it looks like would be orphan would be the. Oh, looks like that one. Yeah. Which I think is. I think it's a rare. rare. Yep. So I've got that right at least. Indeed. So that's orphan. You're definitely scored. So that's orphan there. Nice. Right. So what else do you have? Um, I've also got a Antkist, mm -hmm. a Stingray, a Yugo Girl, 
That's dead girl. It definitely says you oh, go, no, girl. You're right. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You go, girl. And uh, another Wolverine. I thought that was uh, the same sculpt as... I think, in fact, it is the other one. It is the same sculpt as the other one, with, except for the wall. Yeah. We'll have to have a look at it later. So maybe, unless the uh, there's a story link or something. So yeah, well, well, might be twins well. as well. Yeah, possibly. One's dead and one's upbeat. <laughs> Well, I smell a sitcom. But we have got a headline card in Indeed. there as well. Indeed. So obviously we'll... Uh, sure. So, so well, what I say rare? And you said rare as well, Indeed. I believe. Yeah. Right. Little, 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 uh... Ooh. I don't have a rare, but I do have a super rare. Oh, it's super rare unique as well. Strife. Who's doing a bit of limbo because he's clearly been mm. bent in the box. <laughs> nah. He doesn't look particularly happy about doing them, though. He's, it looks like he's one of those overdramatic Spanish <laughs> telenovelas. Like, yeah. ¿Por qué? <laughs> <laughs> right, so what else do I have? So I have another Asp, uh, another Ninja, another Mad Cap, although it's 4B, so I think there's a, that was 4A, the other one, so maybe there's awesome. a variant, and a Uncommon Stingray as well. Oh, so okay. look okay. forward to finding out a bit more about those. So I didn't get my guess right. But I did win the round, so, and that makes it 4-3, because you scored your point. Yeah, I scored my point. All right. This is quite, you know... It's quite close. It's quite right? close. Yeah, it I, is feel quite like, I feel like I can turn this back. Yes, I think you can. So that makes it 3-4. to four. Total number of points right. in play are 7. It's quite a high-scoring game for us. Yeah. We don't normally score this high. No, 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 normally we go through it and we're like... Yep, you've, you've won by one point. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I win by default. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, choice. Okay, I'm going to go for the nearest one. I think. Okay, I'm going to go for Path of Most Resistance and go for this one. Oh. Bit of a weird, bit of a weird twist. Yeah. I'm going to shamble on the fuck out of this one. I'm going to have to, I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to say it's a chase. All right. We haven't had one yet, so that would make no. sense. We've had a couple of super rares, but usually you do get those. And that happens. It's, it's almost how it's like how distribution works. And you'd like to hope that Chase is on at least one of these. So. You would hope. It's not always the case, but you would hope. Yeah. We did quite well in the last booster battle, which was um, me and Joe with the Superman Wonder Woman brick, and we got the Chase Brainiac from Red Sun, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that's um, that's and cool. we, yeah, like I say, it made up for our um, booster battle test run. We're using the new sort of bits and pieces, and uh, we ended up pulling all rares. And we had to decide it based on who got the coolest rares. Yeah. And yeah. I believe you edged that one, as I recall. Because hmm. uh, you had Green Lantern of Gotham, who's way cooler than my one. Yeah, yeah. And although Necron is really cool, he's not a rare, so no. he didn't count. Almost Stupidly too. powerful, is he? He is. I almost put him Considering in my team. he's not. That. So tempted to put him in my team for the game. Because hmm. I was going to put. Because um, behind the scenes, so a bit of background to my Hero Click stuff. One of the first pieces I ever got which I pulled from a bo uh, booster and I was really chuffed with, was Trinity War Batman, 150 okay. points. Hmm. And he's a bastard. Because yeah. he, well, you... he can pick a power uh, yeah, for most yeah. of his dog. So um, I was going to do a Batman family team, expecting you guys to all think, oh, he's going to take Trinity War and then build it entirely around not having him. Okay. I'd basically choose any other version of Batman hmm. I could, which would have included Necro. <laughs> No, because he has yeah, Batman he would be in a yeah. Git so far. So you say, you say I'm going to say it's a chase for this one. All right, I I'm I'll... going to go slightly safer, but not entirely, and say super rare. Okay, that's fine. I think our luck's in on this brick. I think it's a good brick. Yeah, I'm hoping. I don't, I don't, well, uh, considering we're scoring quite high points, wise, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, so okay, so show let's us see. what we've got. Come on, chase, please. That'd be great. Upside down. The great thing about these booster battles is nobody loses. No. Because we end up with we end up with cool clicks. Yeah. You get to take some home for your time. Yeah. And the uh, audience gets some entertaining hero clicks content. Yeah. So yeah. Hello Reddit and HC Realms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you know Facebook, Twitter, all that. Let's see what we got. No, it's not the chase, unfortunately. Darn. But. It is a prime. Oh, a prime. Okay. So actually, I think we should just, you should just have a point for that. Mm. Because it's a prime, generally. It's a... Well, I don't know. It, um... Yeah, that's a prime. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just a rare, though, isn't he? Okay. He's just a... I think he's just a common. 001B. He's a common prime. Oh, okay. Entirely. Interesting printing job. And he appears to have lost an arm. Yeah. I don't know if that's deliberate. 
No, I'm not sure either. No, no. I wasn't sure because he looked is like he had arm... bits missing off him. Anyway. Is there an arm in the box? Not that I can see. See, these are the packing errors that I can't get my head around. <laughs> Is, but, there's no arm in this box, but, but he's clearly but he's obviously got a blade there. So is the blade part of his arm? Because I know, is it like, has like he just side. come out of the? I don't know. I know whether it's a side or something. Yeah. We'll have a look at the card in a bit. But yeah, yeah. you get a point for that. So have a point for that. Yeah, because it's, it's just because his chest's there. That's why I didn't know if it might be like early Weapon X -y thing yeah. or something. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so what's your rarest one? So oh, I, the, other, um, the other end. The other side of it, I have Boom Boom. Boom Boom. I'm not familiar with that character. Uh, Find out more about that in the extended cut. I've been linking to it constantly. Thought, though, yeah, which I think from 42, I think that's just a rare. That is a rare, yes. Uh, it's a nice sculpt, though. Yeah, Translucent yeah. Plastics always uh, going to go yeah. down well in this camp. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what did okay. I say, Super Rare? Yeah, oh, sorry, and just to oh, summarise, yeah. I've also got another Yugo Girl, another Anarchist. But I do also have a tombstone. Nice. So, By God. Yeah. Undertaker. And I do like tombstone as a character. By God, so it's that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice one to pull right off. Cool. Right, so come on, super rip. Okay. I say, I'll be happy. Nobody will be happier than me if oh, you yeah. get a chase because that means I get a chase. Yeah. Whoever loses, we win. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty nifty, isn't it? Mm. Super rare. Oh, nice and good. Oh, cool. So, it is a super rare. Now, how the hell does this one stay in one piece and the other ones break? No. A super rare swarm. So, that's a very cool piece indeed. That's a very nice looking one. It's lovely, it? isn't it? Hmm. It's like Sandman, but, you know, not to wank. <laughs> um, so, what else do I have? Solo, uh, Dark Deadpool, which I'm not okay. familiar with. Um, looks like it's made out of oil. Attending and Chipmunk Hunk. Mm. Oh, bucket list crossed off. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I get a point for that and I win the round. Yeah, well, that's be all done. Well done. Two points. All right. Everything's just coming up Millhouse. Yeah. See, I don't feel. So, I'm going to have to go big or go home for the last one, then. Indeed. Well, you got a point for the um, for successfully guessing the. for getting a prime. For getting a prime. So, but, so I get two points for. Got, yeah. So, that so you're now two four points versus ahead of six. Me. So, so, my only Boost hope up. to kick the hell out of you is to get a chase. Hmm. Okay. Well, Super Rare Prime, and guess it correctly, and me That's, get it wrong, three yeah. points would be enough. Yeah, that could be it, which would be safer. Yeah, but I don't like safer. The fun in yeah, safer I know. I'm going to say this is the chase. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to say how many Super Rares we pulled? Three. Yeah. I'm going to go rare. Really Okay. I, th I have this feeling that the brick is, it's it's still good stuff, but I just I just can't help but feel like we've had the best stuff. Perhaps. Yeah. I might, I'd love to be wrong. Know. I'd love to be wrong. I'm not sure how good these bricks have come out in the top with other people. I know some some people have done well out of them. Hmm. So, you know, it remains to be seen. So hopefully I don't stab myself this time. <laughs> Always then, a good thing to do when you're yeah. recording. This. You'll hear it in the recording because yeah. you happen to be talk. You happen to be making a really good point about something, and I just stab myself in the head. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, the thing I love about Deadpool is how I'm bleeding. Yeah. The thing about Deadpool I love is my arms are on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I don't have healing factor. <laughs> no worse than that model. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, so that's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah. There's some quality control. There were some control, quality control issues at WizKids. And I'm sure they still happen here and there, but they seem to be a lot better than they used to be. Mm. They've definitely improved. Well, they're definitely their sculpting has in general got better, I think. And their paint jobs have got better. I have to double check that, because I have a feeling at some point I asked if, uh, if Fantasy Flight were watching, but I don't know if that was the video I recorded earlier or not. Okay. Anyway, yeah. I'll double check it. Mm. Right, so you're saying Chase. Yeah. Well, I hope Chase. I you have to. Yeah. I have to chase. You have to chase. Right, so come on, chase. Did a little uh, X Force. Did a little uh, X Force. Did a little uh, X Force. And a flop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very strong one, no. Though. Oh, there's some cool pickers in there, though. That domino's uh, nice. The domino. So I have a rogue scientist, tippy toe, domino, psylocke, and it looks like the rare one here is jackhammer. Okay, I'm not familiar with that one. Kevin Nash's finisher, of course. Only 35 points and looks like a rare. Yep, that looks right. So uh, that's him there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
All I've been met is bitter disappointment by Jack Campbell. Well, <laughs> but uh, so I said I, 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 that's it. This would be where we get the chase now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I knew I chose two. the wrong one. Chose the wrong one out of two. Anyway, rogue scientist, tippy toe, fuck off. Seriously, cable. <laughs> Uh, I thought you pulled exactly the same with me. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh, like, yeah. it is a rare. So I'm je- a bit je- jealous of that. Well, you know, we're going to divide them up later for as you get some for saying for yeah. coming and playing. Okay. So, um, Howard the Duck, a rare, unique. So that's pretty cool. I love Howard the Duck. You do. I think it's the law. Um, so it's a rare. Okay, would you guess correctly? So I guess correctly. So I get a point. It's, uh, ev- it's technically it's even, even, so let's go on adding up the points for the whole thing again. Sure Although thing. I think we're going to be similar. So, two, three, four, five, two, three, three thirty. One lucky, yeah, I'm nowhere near that, I don't think. No, I'm lucky that cable's 120. Yeah, so I've got two 90s, a 180, a 25, a 35, and another 35, so yeah, it's yeah. going to be. Fair enough, so that's me as well. Yeah. So two points to me. Oh, crikey, thing. Blake, I want to hear about this thing. What, oh, no. yeah. what, what's happened to the world outside these wars? It's, it's because he's got rid of the dice. <laughs> right, he says so, he still likes the dice, so but I think really big he's burnt them. I do love the dice on a visual level, but I just they roll like pricks. <laughs> um, so to round out the thing, I've got Rogue Scientist, Tippy Toe, another Cable, Phantom X, who's pretty cool, hmm. uh, and uh, Howard the Duck. So mm, nice. that's pretty nifty. Yeah. So the final scores... For a hero text thing with me and Blake. No, no. I don't understand how this disappointed. I've been just disappointed. But I will say, these have been some excellent pulls. Yeah. No chances. Okay, bar now. the last two, I think, were definitely the weakest pulls yeah. of the set. Yeah. There was still some very nice pulls. There's some lovely stuff in there. In all, in all ten. So um, the final scores are eight to four. I oh, know. Well, 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 well. Yeah. To the victor, the bragging rights as always. So... Champion. <laughs> Not often I get to say that. Yeah. So um, we're going to cut away. Now, if you're watching the standard edition, you're going to see us come back and build our teams. If you're not watching the standard edition, you're going to watch us go away and never talk come through, back. <laughs> talk, through the, talk through the brick in more depth. So uh, see you in a bit either way. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with the in-depth portion of the video. So this is Blake's first booster. So this is the one that uh, opened up the, the uh, order of the day. So ended. Uh, so the best one out of this one was the Prime Deadpool rare. Yeah. So uh, feel free to show any and all of them off. That is nice. Hmm. So that does need gluing because clearly the uh, gun has come away from the plastic yeah. a bit. Yeah, because I think it's meant to be more like that really. But yeah, I think it's not. Right. I wasn't sure if it was intentional or not because I didn't think it. I didn't know if it was a. If it, if it's, you know, the amount of damage, you, you know, whether it was just to allow a bit more flexibility with the model as well. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. Um, so we uh, let's have a look at these. Uh, cards. Have a look at them. Um, yeah, no, I think he's a really lovely sculpt. This one actually, I'm pretty mm-hmm. quite impressed with him. Um, he's not it doesn't start off the most powerful looking at his dial. Okay. Uh, seems to have low, da- fairly low damage from most yeah. of it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the card in at the side here. So if you could just shift him along yeah. ever so slightly. Perfect. Thank you very much. So this is the front of his card. And the back looks like that. So yeah, I see what you mean. He's got two damage maximum ev- all the way through, but quite a long dial. Mm. And regen on his last two, which is quite handy. Yeah, is there any reason why his damage is so low? Or can he do something... So let's have a look. So shifting focus Deadpool. Give Deadpool the free action if he began your turn on the map. Replace him with another character with this trait on the same click number. So you can swap uh, for other okay. ones. Yeah. Um, healing factor on the double. Oh, crikey. When Deadpool takes damage after actions resolve, roll a d6. Heal Deadpool half the result. Oh, okay. He ain't going anywhere. Though. It's going to be hard to take down, I think, yeah. Um, so then he's got sidestep and phasing teleport on his movement. Toughness and combat reflexes and regen on his defense so he looks like that so actually with that trait in mind pretty he's pretty good yeah I he's also thought, got the X-Men. i just expected him to be a little bit more damaging yeah he's also it. got the x-men team ability which i think is healing related as well uh yeah i think that's like the poor man support where you can damage each other that's right yeah 
If you, well, I think if I could give them a percentage, like yeah, I think if I could 50 50 chance you can yeah. heal them and not take any damage. So he's Weapon X, X Men, and Assassin keywords. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Cool. What's next? Huh. Okay. So uh, next up we have Feral. Yeah. It looks like a, well. It's a bit like a cheetah from. It, uh, a bit like, yeah, a bit like uh, Wiley Kit was putting out. Um, <laughs> Crikey. It's a dated and kind of creepy reference. Yeah. <laughs> Album Why did Wiley Kit grow up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into a Hoochie Bomber. My goodness. Look at that. So, uh, right, let's have a look at her yeah. card here. So, she's an uncommon um, 29A, so there's presumably a prime version. Uh, so, this is what her front of her card looks like. So, she's got advanced movement. She can move through other characters for the purposes of movement. Okay. So, she can ignore the other characters around her for the purposes of moving through. Uh, five clicks for 60 points. Uh, she switches between Charge and Flurry on her movement, P uh, Precision Strike and Blades Claws on her attack. Okay. Uh, there's a defense box out, which I'll read off in a minute, and Super Senses, and Exploit Weakness, I think, and then, what's orange again? Battle Fury. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So the defense box out is Feral can use Combat Reflexes and Super Senses. Crikey. She's pretty bitey for 60 That's points. good. And actually, she if she has Combat Reflexes, she has a defense of 19, and then super senses if she gets hit. Yeah. So that's pretty, really, really good. And X Men team ability and as well. And obviously, close combat expert makes her rather bitey as well. Cl Exploit weakness. Exploit weakness, yeah. sorry. So that's three points penetrating on the first click. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So, yeah. Pretty, Crikey. Pretty bitey. And precision strike means that even if you didn't use the combat. Yeah. The close, it, uh, combat even, if it, even if it's like invincible, at least one will get through. Yeah. So, okay. Cool. What's next? Right. Um, we got cable. Sweet. I don't have a cable. So now I have a cable. Oh, that's all right. Don't because we have two. So yeah, what I we... have a cable from the uh, Fast Forces, so, mm -hmm. uh, which is a bit different. This one's a bit more traditional X Men look. Well, yeah, of it. yeah. And so. I think he's also another one with the X Force X Men team ability. So, Cable, his card looks like this. He has a traded stealth. Okay. Um, he can move through hindering terrain for the purposes of movement, so he ignores it. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's got a movement box out and a defense box out. His dial, he's in uh, in Dom for 120 as well. Okay. So he's got willpower, trade uh, traded almost. Um, seven movement, seven range, one lightning bolt rather. Um, his movement switches between the box out, running shot, and flurry. And then he's got precision strike, no penetrating psychic blast, and uh, energy explosion. And then he's got uh, toughness and regen on his defense. And prop control, range combat, and exploit weakness dotted throughout his dial. It starts with the... So this is his starting click. Yeah, I mean... 10 it... movement with his box out, 11 uh, penetrating psychic blast, 17 with the box out, and 4 damage with prop control. Yeah, that's very bright. Especially the as well. Well, here, have a listen to these. So Cable can use phasing teleport. When he does, and moves 5 squares or less. After actions resolve, he may make a close range attack. So then his defense looks like this. He can use invulnerability, and when he has less than two action tokens, he can use energy shield deflection. Okay. So as long as he's got, as long as he's not completely tapped out, he can use energy shield deflection um, and invulnerability. Yeah. So on these, so that's on clicks one, two, and three. Ouch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And the X Men team ability. Yeah. Well. So what was the move box out again? The move box out is phasing teleport, and if he moves five oh, squares no. or less, he can make a close, or, close or range attack. So actually. It's a. So it's a bit like the um, jumping ability from the uh, from a, a Nightcrawler from the Uncanny X. Yeah, kind of. It's it's almost like a a, fa a phasing teleport mixed with charge yeah. or um, running shot because he's got half mm. right. He's sort of half. Then if he moves five squares and then can attack a, yeah. a range seven, that's what, quite good. So yeah. So what's weird is he can also use that when he gets a movement of eight as well. So okay. he can still, as long as he stays under five. He can yeah. do that oh, ability, that's cool. so that's pretty cool. Yeah, oh yeah, keywords are plenty. New Mutant, Six Pack, X Force, X Men, Armor, Future, Soldier. Okay. So it's it's actually quicker to list the ones he hasn't got. Okay, so next we have Full Killer. Okay. So he appears to be one that's got two it looks like there's a couple one that three B suggests to me there are more than one figure in the Deadpool ones in mm. the first few where they've got two different looks. Okay. Some of them are prime, some of them aren't, it seems. Yeah. Because uh, this one's not. But uh, this is what it looks like. I'm the Deadpool brand mercenary you hired. So 
Um, so it's back of his card looks like so. Five clicks for 75 points. Um, starts with a movement of eight and running shot. And then he gets sidestep and his movement drops a bit. Mm-hmm. And he's got penetrate and psychic blast all the way through his dial. Five, all five clicks. Ouch. Um, and then toughness and combat reflexes through the defense. And then he's got perplex on three of his five okay. clicks. So uh, his traits, he's got quite, a, he's got a couple actually. So once per action for all characters with this trait. So these look, that's probably all the different. Yeah, Deadpool I think it's looking. all the Mercs money normally have those. those yeah, um, quite a few of them do. When another friendly character with the Deadpool core keyword would be KO'd, you may instead turn that character to its last non-KO click, then heal it three. If you do, KO one friendly character with this trait. So you can pick and choose who gets knocked out. Oh, okay. And heal the other one. Hmm. Uh, and then Killer of Fools, modify full killer's attack value by plus two when attacking an opposing character that missed an attack since your last turn. Oh, okay. So he's as long as somebody didn't attack last turn, or missed rather, yeah. attacked and didn't hit, then you can attack them more easily. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I like that thematically, yeah. Killer of Fools is pretty cool. As long as you remember that that happened. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's an easy one to forget. And yeah. then he's got Deadpool Core and Heroes for Higher keywords, and a range of five with a lightning bolt of one. Okay. And then finally, and last but not least, we have Wolverine. With the sort of slightly bendy claw. Yes. I think that's probably a bit of boiling. We'll sort that one out. Yeah, almost certainly. But, uh, yeah. I thought it's very similar to the 100 point Fast Horses sculpt. Yep, so he's 70 points. Bloody hell. Okay. If he's anything like the 100 point Fast Horses one, the Fast Horses one is my favourite Wolverine. Brace yourself. You may have that change. So, Wolverine has stealth for six of his nine clicks. Ouch. He has blades all the way through. Okay. Three clicks of toughness, three blank ones, and then three box out. Okay. And then three clicks of nothing, and then six clicks of battle fury. Ouch. 70 okay. points for nine clicks. That's now, he does have not, piss I'm poor not. movement towards the end. Five, okay. movement five. So, his de- defense box out looks like so. Wolverine can use regeneration as a free action. Give Wolverine a free action and roll a d6. One time this turn, he can use that result instead of rolling for Blade's Claws or regeneration. So you basically get regen as a free action Hmm. anyway. Yeah. And then also a free action to roll a d6, and you can use that result instead of Blade's Claws or regen. Ouch. So you just... So you can choose what that dice is for. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to, you can hold it onto it, roll your attack, and if you succeed, you can say that six is for Blade's Claws. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think the only downside of him is that he's not in Dom. This is true, but then at the same time, if he was... And so the problem with, obviously, non-in Dom characters without a charge ability, especially as he's close combat, is obviously you would have that trouble closing in initially. But But like Bane. Yeah. Like Joker's Wild Bane. If he gets closed in, he looks like he'll... Do some damage, actually. Though. Yeah, indeed. And I say with not blades bad. claws, that can go quite, uh, quite wrong, yeah. quite fast. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, that's okay. booster number one then. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good set of stuff. Yeah, oh, not bad. Okay, so this is Blake's second booster of five. <laughs> X forcing its way into the screen yeah. there. See what I did there? Nice. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. we'll start with the uh, rarest pull that I pulled. In my second choice. Okie dokie. Which is Living Brain. Alright. Like so he's actually um, Spider Man family keyword, which is oh, interesting. Okay. I'm guessing he's from the Spider Man universe primarily. But uh, yeah, he's. Uh, card looks like this. He's a rare. So Sinister Syndicate, Spider Man family, robot and scientist. His dial looks like so. He's seven clicks for 70 points. No, that's not bad. Yeah, um, so he's got six clicks of his attack box out, which I'll get to in a sec. Four clicks of sidestep, and then three blank ones. Five clicks of toughness, two clicks of regen. Okay. Two outwits, two prop controls, two perplexes, and a blank one. Okay. So his uh, attack box out is when living brain is or an or an adjacent friendly character with the scientist keyword uses outwit, perplex, or probability control. Its minimum range value is ten. Ooh, so he basically yeah. buffs up their range quite significantly. Yeah, so it's a minimum right. of six normally, isn't it? Mm. Crikey. So he has real name none. Uh, he's in Dom for 70 points as well. Pretty cool. Yeah, not Very bad cool. actually for 70 points. No, not bad at all. Considering he's quite, he buffs others as well. Indeed. It was nice to buff others. 
Pay it forward, kids. <laughs> Not kids. Yeah, I feel like. Not that podcast. Mm-hmm. 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 Coming right, what's next? So next, we have Psylocke. Excellent. Now I have this piece, and I can vouch for it being pretty cool. Okay, so this is a 90-point Psylocke. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Lovely. So, Darth's a bit stiff. Oh, my. Um, so she's uncommon. 90 points for six clicks, but she's got quite a good dial. So yeah, it looks I'll quite speedy. Pop the card here. And then... Then the dial looks like this. So she's got two clicks of charge, two clicks of flurry, two clicks of sidestep. Two clicks of... This always escapes me. Incapacitate. Oh, two blank okay. ones and then two blades claws. Two clicks of combat reflexes, two super senses, and then back to combat reflexes for the other two. Okay. And then two clicks of blue, which is shape change. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and then close combat expert followed by outwit. Okay. So okay. here, so this is her traits. So Silo can use stealth, which is part of X-Force. She's got that as a keyword as well. Uh, Mind blade. When Psylocke makes a close attack and hits an opposing character that you can use Incapacitate, Mind Control, Outwit, or Penetrate and Psychic Blast, roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled, and increase Psylocke's damage by half of the result. Oh, okay. So, nice. So she makes at least one extra damage up to three Yeah. against nice. somebody with Incap, Mind Control, Outwit, or Pen and Psychic Blast. Okay. So pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty cool. nasty. Again. Pretty cool indeed. Then she's got X-Force, X-Men, Assassin, and Martial Artist keywords. Okay. No. Not a bad one, though. Eh? Stick over the Court of Owls, maybe. Yes. Yes. So that would be quite painful. Yes. Right. Next up, we have Slapstick. All right. One of the mercs for money. Mm-hmm. Or Deadpool Core. Any old money will do. It's an interesting looking one as well. So that's pretty cool. So here's a card. It's a long card from the front. Okay. Quite 75 quite. points for seven clicks. Okay. No range. So let's talk through it. So uh, Deadpool Core, Heroes for Hire, Initiative, and New Warriors. So the dial is the dial is one click of leap climb, four clicks of sidestep, and then two blank ones. Okay. Three clicks of attack box out, three clicks of quake, and then blank. Okay. So this is a bit of complicated defense dial, so bear with me. Toughness, once. Okay. Combat reflexes for one. Okay. Invincible, I think, for... No, invulnerable for one. Combat reflexes for, for one. Hmm. Invulner, invin, impervious for one. Okay. And then regen for two. Okay, we're all over the place. Very over the place. Huh? And then two clicks of shape change, one click of combat reflexes, two clicks of shape change, one click of combat reflexes, and a blank click. So what's cool is actually the damage is quite good. So it's three, it says three clicks of three damage throughout okay. the dial, dotted around. Hmm. Um, so then the attack box out. So he's in dom as well for seventy-five points. Okay. So his uh, traits and stuff. The Deadpool brand mercenary uh, trait that we saw earlier. So once per action, replace the um, keyword, somebody with the Deadpool core keyword with somebody with somebody else, and then swap them out so they get KO'd instead, and then okay, heal the other one yeah. three clicks. Um, Slapstick can use Giant Reach two. Okay. And I've got a bad case of malatosis when an opposing character takes damage from Slapstick's attack. After actions resolved, the hit character can't move during its next turn and is immediately given an action token. Okay. Crikey. So uh, it's basically like an incapacitate kind of plus. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, so um, a pretty cool piece, hmm. I would say. Actually, surprisingly good. I wasn't expecting much from a uh, from an uncommon. No, but, no, uh, that's, that I learned something, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't judge a book by its mallet. Okay. No. Next is a fairly common one now. Uh, this is just a standard ninja. So it's got the Psylocke sculpt by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks fairly similar to Psylocke sculpt. Looks like part of uh, Hydra. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay. So she's uh, it's pretty cool, you know. Mm-hmm. She's still got the um, translucent plastic sword, which I find interesting. Or at least on the... No, maybe she doesn't. Yeah, no, it looks fairly normal yeah. here. So, this is her dial. Her, her card is that. Oh. Um, and then her dial looks like that. So it's all blank apart from one thing, which is her movement all the way through. Four clicks for 15 mm-hmm. points. So, this is her movement her ability. She's also got the Hydra team ability, which is interesting. Hmm. So, um... What does the Hydra team ability do again? I can't remember. I can never remember. No, no good with team abilities. Um, ninja can use stealth. When Ninja occupies hindering terrain, modify her range and damage values by plus one. Okay. So she's quite good in hindering. She's got a range of five as standard, so she gets a range of six and a damage of two or three or two, depending on where you are in the dial if she's in hindering terrain. Okay. Quite nice. So not bad. Well, probably not bad for 15 points. No, really. and she can use stealth, so she's in hindering terrain, then you can't target her, so you have to come in close. Yeah. Yeah, right. Not too bad. Nice. Okay. And last but not least, unsurprisingly, in this set we have a Deadpool. Cool. This one looks like a more straightforward Deadpool. Yes. Yeah, so this is one A. So this is a standard Deadpool. So oh. I've actually had a look ahead, and the one in the other one is an alternate Earth version. Ah. Uh, so okay. I wonder if that's what it is. So this is his card here, and his dial looks like so. That's quite cool. He looks like an action figure on the back. Hmm. Yes, I have a Stingray from the yeah, set, nice. which has got that. Uh, so action. his dial reads like so. Seven clicks for 75 points. Three clicks of sidestep, a blank one, and then three movement. Box out. Uh, two clicks of attack box out. Three blade claws fangs, two, two more attack box out. Two clicks of combat reflexes. Three clicks of super senses, and then two clicks of combat reflexes again. No damage powers to speak of, but he's indomitable for 75 points, and he has the Spider-Man family keyword, which I be- uh, team ability, which I believe is a wild card. Okay. So, shifting focus Deadpool allows him to swap out for free with any other character with this trait on the same click, as long okay. as they he started on the map. So you can't just keep switching out to multiple Deadpools, you have to okay. wait a turn. So, the movement box out is Deadpool can use Flurry, but can only make the second attack if he deals three or more damage during the first attack. And then the attack box out, which kind of goes maybe in from this. Deadpool can use Blade to cause fangs. When he does, the minimum result for his D6 roll is his printed damage value. Okay. So, which in this case would be a minimum result of 3, or a minimum result of 2 further on in the dial. And that's kind of good, although it's not as good now that they've changed the rules. Yeah. So he's actually become slightly weaker with the rule changes. But, nonetheless... Pretty cool. Uh, lots of keywords again. Agency X, Deadpool Core, Six Pack, Thunderbolt, Weapon X, and Assassin. Hmm. Quite yeah, a cool piece. Quite nice. And I quite like the look of him as well as the yeah. Jetsko. So. Yeah, he's nice. There you go. So boost number Good. two. That's number two. Okay, so we're up to booster number three for Blake. So if you would like to bring force X Force your way into the uh, into the shot here. X Force. X Force. Nice. Nicely done. All right, so what are we going for first? Okay, we're going to start with my rarest pool in this that I got from this set during my woeful my choice. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, um, so we have Orphan, first of all. Nice. He's got a nice uh, base thing going on here. The translucent yeah. plastic can just elevate him. So he's obviously got some psychic abilities, I would say. So, it looks uh, a little bit like he's loosely based off like the uh, Sarek sculpt from um, the Green Lantern. Oh, okay, nice. Because he's got that sort of sitting down, hovering yeah. look. Right, so uh, this is his card. So this is the front. And this is the back. So this is the dial and such. So um, he's got three clicks of charge, two clicks of sidestep, five clicks of uh, precision strike, five clicks of super senses. Hmm. Five clicks of damage box out and two clicks of outwit. So he's 70 points for five clicks. X Men team ability. Let's have a look at the uh, thing. So when Orphan hits one or more opposing characters, after actions resolve, give him a headline token. The headline token looks like so. Okay. I'll just briefly pop it in and then take it away again because then he can't, otherwise, he can't see the figure. <laughs> and then um, when, Mr., uh, when Orphan would make an attack roll, you may remove any number of headline tokens from him to roll that many additional dice and then ignore all but two. Oh. If you do, this roll can't be re-rolled. 
And then his damage box out is, Orphan can use leadership. At the beginning of your turn, you may remove a headline token from a friendly character's card and place it on the card of another friendly character. So if you have all the uh, ecstatics characters, so the ones yeah. with the headlines, then you can move the headline tokens around, okay. wow. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and he's also got the movement through hindering terrain for the purposes of movement, uh, X Force, Ecstatic, Celebrity, and Martial Artist keywords, and uh, a range of zero with one lightning bolt. Okay. Quite a nice piece. Yeah. Not too shabby. Right, what's next? Okay, so uh, next up we have Anarchist. All right. That's pretty cool. It's a nice action pose. It's actually a nicer condition than the one I pulled in a previous toy box as well because he doesn't have, um, he's not leaning right back. Okay. Because my one was leaning right back. Hmm. So, That's quite nice. his card, he has a headline token that looks like so. So I'll pop that to one side. And then this is his front of his card here with all his powers. And on the back is his dial, which looks like so. So he's 75 points for 5 clicks, 2 clicks of running shot, 3 clicks of sidestep, 2 precision strike followed by 3 energy explosion, 5 clicks of energy shield deflection, and then 3, cl three clicks of a damage box out followed by 2 clicks of blank, uh, 2 lightning bolts, 5 range, can move through, looks like, oh he can, he can target through other friendly characters by the looks of it, okay. I think that's what that symbol means right? Um, yeah I think so yeah. yeah. Alright, so uh, his traits, headlines, when he Anarchist hits one or more opposing characters, after actions resolve, give him a headline token. Anarchist can use poison. When he does, if you remove a headline token from him, the damage dealt is penetrating. Oh, okay. So he's got, yeah, uh, yeah so you can have one penetrating, dam it's one penetrating damage, isn't it, for poison? Yeah, it's normally fixed one. Yeah, poison isn't normally penetrating. So. Yeah. Cool, nice. Yeah, it's not a bad model, actually. Indeed. So what's next? Okay... Captain Bendy Sword, also known as Stingray. Good luck getting him out. Yeah. I might have to bear with him. Oh. Hope you like other things. Here's some music. <laughs> Isn't it great that everybody just does the girl from Ipanema, even though they might never have heard the song? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. How did they get it in? I think you might have to push down on one side, gently. And yeah, then... that's the thing, I don't want to snap him. That's all right. Uh, he won't be the most broken here. Deadpool's not firing his guns for Christ's sake. <laughs> Looks like you got him. Just, there you go. Oh, Just a bit of gentle pressure. Perhaps you could petition. <laughs> what? Ding my ding Killed Steve Irwin, you bastard. Yeah. So here's his card. Got? So he's got the Deadpool brand mercenary. Uh, trait similar to the other ones. His uh, back of his dial looks like so. He's six clicks for 80 points, no indomitable this time. Okay. Four lightning, uh, four range, two lightning bolts, two clicks of running shot, four clicks of sidestep, five clicks of energy explosion, followed by a blank one, four clicks of toughness, two blank ones, and then three outwit, three, uh, three blank ones. Hmm. So his front of his card looks like so. He's a flyer. Um, unsurprisingly. I'm the Deadpool brand mercenary you hired, so it gives you again the ability to uh, KO a different Deadpool core character instead of the one that's about to be KO'd once per, once per action. And then Stingray modifies his defense value by plus two when occupying water terrain. Nice. Okay. Pretty cool. Uh, so lots of keywords, Deadpool core, heroes for hire, initiative, armor, scientist, and spy. Okay. Pretty cool. He's all right. Obviously, needs a bit of boiling now, that one. Yes. Right. Next, we have You Go Girl. Okay. So, that has a nice sculpt. I like the colour of her. Mm. She's a really cool shade. So. so only 40 points. So only 40 points, but let's have a look at her dial because it might be cool. So, uh, headlines. So, she has a headline token. It looks like that. And when you go go hits one or more opposing characters, after actions resolve, give her a headline token. 
and more than just a mutant bus. When Yugogo has no action tokens, she can use the carry ability to carry up to four friendly characters that share a named keyword with her, ignoring their speed symbols. Remove a headline token from Yugogo's card and give her a move action as a free action. Okay. Crikey. So her dial is short but sweet. Uh, 40 points for four clicks. Four clicks of phasing teleport. Two clicks of quake followed by two clicks of incapacitate. Two clicks of combat reflexes, two clicks of energy shield deflection, and four blank damage clicks. X-Men team ability. Okay. Uh, X-Statics, X-Force, and Celebrity keywords. Okay. So she could move around even someone like Zatanna. Hmm. Anything, so that anything that shares a keyword. So very okay. nice indeed. And last but not least, we have a war game, which I'm not sure is very simple to say. It is the same one. Okay. In fact, we'll just we can skim right through this one because we've already covered it by now. Him. So uh, uh, he's not so bendy, is the other one. Not so bendy. Long long dial again. Seventy points. X Men team ability. Bish bash boss. Stealth. Blades claws fangs. Toughness. Defense box out. Isn't that mad? Hmm. Six clicks of battle fury. Da da da. No indom. But he's got well, re regen's a free action, and you can give him a free action and roll a d6 to make one that result. Blades claws or regen. Yeah, as a free so action. pretty by 2, 30 points. But Indeed. Yeah, so so can, can he essentially regen twice? Um, oh, I thought it was you choose the result, depending on that die. Oh, so sorry, yeah, of course. Yeah, that's how correct. I was reading it. Yeah, no, that's correct, though. that makes sense. All right, that's number three, then. Yeah. So this is booster number four of Blake's Deadpool X-Force haul. So, Blake, why don't you X-Force that into the mm -hmm. shop? The clicks train. <laughs> clicks here. <laughs> All right. So, which one are you going to go for first? Okay, I'll choose the rare one from my from my pool first of all. Okay, okay. So this is boom boom. Let me hear you say where. Well. Okay. Lovely stuff. That's a pretty cool sculpt. Uh, we mentioned it in the uh, during the polls, and I think that's in a bit of cool. excessive glue there. On iron yeah, it does not. seem a little overboard. Yeah, it's a bit lazy there, but yeah, well, you know, somebody's just really excited to have a press there. <laughs> so, Yay! here's her card. Looks like this. Don't do that. Uh, and then her underside of her doll looks like this. And uh, she's five clicks for 60 points. X Men team ability. So she's got running shot for then two clicks of sidestep and two clicks of running shot. Three clicks of her attack box out, two clicks of energy explosion, two clicks of energy shield deflection, and then three clicks of willpower. Six range, two of lightning bolts. So New Mutants X Factor X Force. Three, two, one, boom. Boom Boom can use energy explosion and penetrating psychic blast. When she makes a range attack and has no action tokens, modify her attack and damage values by plus one. Okay. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm. So, uh, yeah, when she's got no action tokens, on her first three clicks, she can go up to uh, 11, 10 or 11 attack and three damage. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty biting. Yeah, and she's got pen, pen sight and energy explosion. Energy explosion is much better with the new rules. Hmm. It's, it's, it's not, but it's easier it, to understand. It, yeah, it's really easier. Yeah. yeah. There I think we the go. one they've best fixed with the new rules is Pulse Wave, personally. Yes, agreed. That was something that was just unnecessarily confusing. That, well, it was just ridiculous as well, because yeah. it wasn't really, it was just fairly pants as well. Yeah, Especially indeed. With, with Power Creep. Yes. Okay, next. Um, I will, seeing as he's already out, I will do the Prime Deadpool as well. Cool. So, this is Wade Wilson of Earth 12101. So, this is a little bit of a different Deadpool to what we're used to. So I'm actually inclined to think that that is deliberate. Yeah. I'm not sure. I know he didn't have that, but I've, I don't, it doesn't look like it should be attached to his hand. Right? No. I'll look it up on HC Realms. I'm sure there's a better picture. Mm. So his dial is pretty mad. So he's got eight clicks for 130 points. He's in Dom. Eight range, two lightning bolts. So running shot, charge, running shot, charge, flurry, phasing teleport, flurry, phasing teleport, pensai. Blades Claws, Pensai, Blades Claws, Blades Claws again, Yellow, Pulse Wave, Blades Claws, Pulse Wave, Super Senses, Combat Reflexes, Super Senses, Combat Reflexes, Super Senses, Three Clicks of Regen, Perplex, Shape Change, Perplex, Shape Change, Battle Fury, Prob, Battle Fury, Prob. Very odd. So, here are some of his traits. So, Dread, Dread Pull. I can't read. 
until oh, now. Yeah. There we I go. Didn't that, Dreadpool. Yeah. So, Dreadpool can use steel energy. At the beginning of your first turn, choose a named keyword an opposing character possesses. At the end of your turn, give De Dreadpool a free action to make a close or ranged attack, targeting a single opposing character with the chosen keyword if he's not attacked any character with the chosen keyword this turn. Yeah. So if he suddenly decides to kill one particular keyword at the end of the turn, if he hasn't already done so, he gets a free action to do either a close or ranged attack. Ouch. So, uh, yeah, he's um, multiple keywords. Agency X, Deadpool Core, Weapon X, X-Force, Assassin, Martial Artist, and Soldier. Mm. Um, yeah, so there's lots of uh, fourth wall breaking names here, as is mm. customary with Deadpool, Dreadpool. Never should have taken me out of that booster, Battle Fury. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have. <laughs> Indeed. Cool, that's a really nice piece, actually. Mm. Dial-wise. Oh, I'd say, the dial's all over the place, but it's pretty cool. Oh, I'm impressed by him. Yeah. Right. Next. There um, we go. Fairly similar ones, I think. We've got another You Go Girl. Yeah, we can, we can breeze through these ones, because we've done these already. So, okay. You Go Girl. Check it out. Headline, blah, blah, blah. That lets you do... A move action is free. She can carry four people with a keyword. Uh, four clicks for 60 point, 40 points. Phasing teleport. Um, quake. Incapacitate. Combat reflexes. Energy shield. Blah blah blah. Moving on. Okay. And we also have another anarchist. Yep. So card looks like that. You can target through friendly characters. Um, headlines looks like that. He's another one that's turned out nice for sculpts, hmm. not uh, bent back. He's got the bendy one, I think. Poison can remove a headline to make it penetrating. Dial looks like that. Five clicks for 75 points. No indom. Five range. Two lightning bolts. All the way through com uh, energy shield deflection. Three clicks of damage box out. Two clicks of pensai. Three clicks of energy shield. Uh, no energy explosion. Sorry. Two clicks of running shot. Three clicks of sidestep. X Men team ability. Okay. And then finally, the, the one you're excited this, about. The one I was, I'm, I just like him as a character, mm -hmm. especially as he appears in um, Superior Foes of Spider Man as well, which is great. Yes, he's got the Sinister uh, Syndicate keyword um, for this one. He's uh, Tombstone. Nice. Obviously, yeah, he is, he is part of the Spider Man villains. Mm -hmm. Okay, so card looks like so. And then his dial. Is 100 points for seven clicks, no indom, five range, one lightning bolt, two clicks of charge, three clicks of sidestep, two blank, three clicks of um, super strength, four clicks of precision strike, impervious, yep, followed by invulnerable, followed by toughness, and then close combat expert on his middle three clicks, so three, four, five. Okay. And then he's got a trait, Leg Breaker. When Tombstone hits an opposing adjacent character, give that character a broken bone token. Opposing characters modify their speed and attack minus one for each broken bone token they have. When a character with a bone, broken bone token clears, remove a broken bone token from it. So if you just pound on them, give them three. Yeah, you can be, you can not, they can stop moving. Yeah, yeah, you can okay. just really limit them quite mm. substantially. Uh, Mag Magia, Sinister Syndicate, The Hand and Assassin. So you can pair him with Count Nefaria. Okay, that's pretty cool. Hmm. But yeah, Sinister Syndicate is obviously the Spider-Man tie-in. So um, there you go. That's booster number four. So mm -hmm. cool. All right. So and finally, uh, Blake's fifth booster. So uh, if you would pop that into the shop for us, that would be jolly nice. Deadpool brick. Deadpool brick. <laughs> Deadpool brick and his last booster. <laughs> Deadpool fire. Um, <laughs> this is hard to fit in. <laughs> so let's just play with clear examples. Postman fire. <laughs> one day we'll do something with that. <laughs> but it will not be this Right, day. I'm going to start with the one that cost me the match. Yep, okay. Which was uh, Jack Hammer. Okay. Oh, Very nice. Oh, yeah. He's not a bad looking model. Actually. He's alright, isn't he? Yeah. Looks okay. Yeah. Uh, only coming in at 35 points. Mm-hmm. This is his uh, card. Not a lot of uh, powers on this. Dial looks like so. Four clicks for 35. So two clicks of charge and then nothing. Four clicks of his attack box out, which is where he's going to be interesting. Two clicks of willpower, two clicks of toughness. And okay. then no damage powers. Zero range, one lightning bolt. So, Jack Hammer can use super strength and quake. 
When he uses Quake, if he's holding a light object, he deals 3 damage instead of 2, and if he's holding a heavy object, he deals 4 damage instead of 2. Ooh. In either case, the held object is then removed from the game. So he's a heavy hitter. Mm. Yeah, my, Especially with charge. That in mind. Especially with charge. Yeah. So it's good, good having him in a game where there's definitely objects on the table. Yeah, indeed. So what else we got? Um, okay, it looks like we have another sign off, which so I'm can... thinking is possibly the same one. I'll yeah, it is. Check. Let's skip through. So uh, X Force, so that can use stealth, close attack that uh, does extra damage, half D6 to incapacitate, mind control, mm -hmm. outwit, or pensai. Uh, her dial looks like so. So charge, flurry, sidestep, uh, incapacitate, blades, claws, combat reflexes, and super senses, and then shape change, close combat expert, and outwit for 90 points. Okay. Four range, one lightning bolt. I think she's pretty cool. Yeah, she's certainly good for a night. It's just that we've already seen her. Yeah, that's all uh, it is. No, I just feel like you can go. <laughs> okay. I'm next, happy about this one, this next, next one, because uh, it's a really nice sculpt of her. Okay, so this is Domino. Look at that. How cool is that? I seem to have this thing about recently about commons and uncommons that are just really bloody nice examples, like that Batgirl from Harley Quinn. Hmm. Just okay. really nice examples of good sculpts and good character models and just mm. really, really good. So Domino looks like so. So she has the X-Force team ability, uh, the X-Force uh, trait, so she can use stealth as well. Her dial is 90 points for six clicks. Running shot twice, sidestep twice, two blank ones, four precision strike and two blades claws. Three combat reflexes, two super senses and a regen. And then four blank clicks and shape change twice. Okay. So towards the end of her dial, she actually gets potentially mm. harder to hit if you roll better. Yeah. Um, so, she's six-pack, X-Force, Assassin, Soldier, and Spy. Uh, she can use Stealth as X-Force trait. Domino can use Probability Control, this is another trait. When an opposing character re-rolls an attack targeting Domino, immediately modify the attacker's attack and damage values by minus one. Oh. So if somebody uses Prob against her... Or she uses Prob against them. Or she, ro she makes them re-roll, then... They have to modify their attack and damage by minus one. Oh, Pretty okay. cool. Bad luck lady, it's called. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Very cool indeed. Interesting trick. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have Tippy Toe. Tippy Toe. I like Tippy Toe. It's a nice so little. Only 25 points, unsurprisingly, as you can yeah. tell, because it's a, it's a freaking squirrel. <laughs> Gonna have to go in really deep on the zoom there. It's a nice, mm. not bad sculpt though, considering. Okay. So the card looks like so, not much going on there, even less going on here, so this is the dial, 25 points for 3 clicks, so 3 clicks of leap climb, shocker, Yeah. 1 click of damage box out and then 2 blank ones, 3 clicks of super senses, and then uh, 1 click of nothing and then 2 clicks of exploit weakness with tiny size. Okay. So the damage, the attack box out rather, gives Tippy Toe a free action to deal one, one damage to an opposing character within eight squares and line of fire that occupies printed hindering terrain. So if somebody's in hindering, and they're not... It's just randomly damaging. Oh no, it's not even, it's not a line of fire. So you don't have to draw a line of fire, so you don't have, so, so stealth is irrelevant. If someone's in hindering terrain... You can use it. Yeah. Free debt, free okay. action to deal That's one damage. It's a good way of taking out people in stealth. Got Great Lakes Avengers and Animal, for keywords. Yeah, so it doesn't matter because it's not drawing a line of fire. It's just within eight squares and hindering terrain. Hmm. You don't have to draw the line of fire, it's just within line of fire. Okay. So as long as you can see them, in well, as long as you can point to as them. As long as you can read them. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's how it works. Maybe I'll double check the realms for that. No doubt somebody will have asked that question because it seems like an edge case. And last but not least... Well, although it is a bit least, we have a rogue scientist. I think the ponytail is what makes him rogue. Mm. So Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's his front card, that's his back card, no big shocks here. 35 points for three clicks, three clicks of sidestep and three clicks of damage box out. Mm -hmm. We'll design doomsday weapons for food. Rogue scientist can use outwit. Adjacent characters of equal or higher points may be given a power action to use Outwit until your next turn. Okay. So he allows people to use Outwit, but there's a power rather than a free. Okay. Still better than nothing. Yeah. Pretty cool. Right. Okay. Well, there you go. So despite the fact that we got a few doubles in your pulls, there's there's a few nice that's ones not in bad. No, that's not bad there. And as I said, that there's some, some quite biting models like that Dreadpool, for example. Yeah, that Dreadpool uh, is something. 
And obviously, you know, if that if they were my pools, I know that's not how we were, but I mean, you know, that you that's already two dead pools that I can switch between and with the shifting focus ability. Yeah, absolutely. Like so. All right, well, there you go. So that's Blake's five. So now we're going to switch places, and it's my go. Right, so uh, let's have a look at Rob's pool. So starting with his very first pool from the right. uh, booster battle. So here's the... Here's the figures here. Okay. So I'm going to start with the common to rare. So I'm going to go the other way okay. around. Okay. Yeah. That's so cool. let's start with Fool Killer. Right. Okay. Oh, I really like him. How cool is that? It's like a cyborg. Um, okay. That's looking good. So let's uh, bring his card on. So his card looks like that. So, um, and obviously his back looks like that. Um, so we have, uh, he is, uh, here is higher keyword. Mm -hmm. um, he has two traits, uh, Mercs for money. Each time another friendly character with the heroes for higher keyword KOs an opposing character, heal full killer, bleh, full killer one click. Okay. Uh, and Killer with Fools, which I think is similar to the other ability, which is modify Fool Killer's attack value by plus two when attacking an opposing character that missed an attack since your last turn. Yeah. Nice. So here's Dial. It goes running shot, sidestep for three clicks, and then blank. He's got five clicks of health, so he doesn't miss that. He has Penetrating Psychic Blast for all of his Dial. Wow. Um, he has Toughness for three clicks, and then Close Combat Reflexes for his last two. Okay. And then he has a blank click, three clicks of perplex, and then another blank click on the damage side of things. Cool. I really um, like him. Yeah. No, he's quite a nice one. I, I wonder why they look, he looks radically different from all the other full killers I've seen. Yeah, yeah. it's peculiar, isn't it? So um, I'm not sure if he is a... He's a 3A, so I'm guessing there's so, another variant, 3B. Yeah, version. unless he's a different version, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But no, not a bad one. Very, very cool. Right, okay. the next one's one? generic, I think, but nonetheless a nice sculpt, so not the end of the world. So uh, that is Mercenary. Okay. So looking, looking good there. Pretty um, cool pose. Pew, 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 is, uh, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> yeah, the whole twin gun effect going on there. Yeah. Um, his card looks like that. Mm hmm. Um, so he and obviously the other side like so. Mm -hmm. So only 35 points, not the longest dial in the world. No. Um, he ha so he has a trait of called whoever pays the bills. When mercenary would be KO'd by an attack, the attacker's controller rolls a d6. On a result of 4 to 6, mercenary is instead added to that player's force on click 3. And that player scores 35 victory points. So he could end up joining the other person's force. Cool. And actually, that third click is not a bad shout. It's got charge, combat reflexes, and what does that uh, one say? Looks like um, Empower. Empower. Is. Sorry, I had to double check that. I always that. get those two mixed up. Yeah. So, he has, so his dial goes running shot, blank, charge, blank. Okay. Then he has energy explosion for two clicks, and then blank for two clicks. Mm -hmm. Then he has toughness for two clicks, and then obviously uh, close combat reflexes for two clicks, and then two blanks on damage, and then the two in power clicks. Cool. So not not too shabby. Very nice indeed. So, okay. Next. I really love this sculpt. I'm going to say it right now. Even though it's really, really basic, I really, really like it. Asp. That is pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, looking very nice. I, really uh, like I, like, I quite like the costume design, actually. Yeah, it's very cool. So if I uh, zoom out a little bit, just so I can do the card. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a card there, and um, on the other side. So it's, his own, it's a 50-point model, only um, four clicks. Okay. But um, the dial goes uh, sidestep for all of the dial. Okay. She has an attack box out on all the dial. Yeah. Um, she has close combat reflexes for the dial, but it's all blanks on the damage. But okay. damage goes progressively down as it goes along by the looks of it. Three, two, two, one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, she has a trait called BAD Girls Inc. So Bad Girls Inc. Okay. Asp can use plasticity. When she successfully breaks away during a non-free action, after actions resolve, heal her one click and deal one damage to each character she broke away from. Oh, right, that's okay. not bad. Yeah. Um, and her attack box out is Bioelectric Venom. Okay. 
which is Asp can use Incapacitate, and when she does, after actions resolve, deal one damage to the hit target and each opposing character adjacent to it. Cool. Okay. And uh, she is from the Femizans and the Serpent Society. Okay. So, no, Very not, nice indeed. Yeah, not I bad really, for 50 say, points, actually, really, considering I, she's got some decent, like, yeah. box set abilities. So. I say, considering it's a really basic design, I really like that sculpt. Mm. Really like that a lot. All right, next we have Bedlam. Okay. Okay, so let's click around to number one. I don't know why it seems to make me feel better. Okay. Not that I feel bad, but, you know, even better. Oh, no, looking, looking good. So he is part of the X-Force. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just zoom out again to bring his card on. Yeah, it's got a little bit of errant glue around the edges of the base. Just yeah, there. I noticed that with it's a couple of them. I knew it was like obviously particularly bad with that boom boom one, but yeah, I didn't notice on a couple of them. Um, yeah, so uh, that's his card there. And obviously his dial there. So his dial goes sidestep for two. He has five clicks of health. Okay. Got um, sidestep for two and then all blank on movement. Mm -hmm. uh, incapacitate for three and then two blanks. Okay. Um, on attack, uh, two blanks, and then three of energy shield deflection on defense, okay. and then um, three blank clicks and two on the uh, willpower. So close combat. For no, further combat no. Oh, is it close combat expert? Yeah. Sorry, no, I was getting I mixed get, up. I get mixed up between defense and de yeah. damage then. Yeah. So close combat for that. So that um, he has a. He says he's his bedlam is part of the X Force as I said earlier, and he has a trait called Bio EM Field. Okay. Um, which is opposing characters with range cannot use st the standard powers or combat value modifiers granted by equipped items. Hmm. So, yeah. Cool. So, we'd knacker those hammers. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> that always our pain. Yeah, indeed. So, okay. Very cool. Yeah, not too shabby. And also, that's another nice sculpt. You know, it just looks like a cool dude hanging out on yeah. the street. He hey, like he'd he look like he'd be in a 90s Mega Drive game. Hey, you kids. <laughs> you kids be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and then finally, super rare. Started off strong. This is a cool one, I like this a lot. Dead girl. Very, very cool. Super cool. That's not looking good there. Really, really nice. She's a flyer as well, by the looks. I suppose she's dead. I mean, hmm, yeah. <laughs> what price physics? So, um, let's bring a card on. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Dead, Call, uh, Dead Girl has a is part of um, X Force, Ecstatics, Celebrity, and Mystical. Mm -hmm. She does have a headline card, which um, I'll just put in away. It looks like that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so her card looks like that, and her dial looks like this. So she has um, six clicks of help. Has it goes. Charge, sidestep for two, and then flurry for three. Okay. She's got three clicks of box out, attack, and then three of precision strikes pink, I believe. Yep. Um, three clicks of toughness, and then three clicks of super senses for on defense. Mm -hmm. And then three clicks of exploit weakness, and then three points of blank on the, on the uh, damage. Okay. So not too bad. She's got um, two traits. So one is headlines. Which is when Dead Girl hits one or more opposing characters, after her actions resolve, give her a headline token. Okay. And Living Dead Girl, at the beginning of your turn, if Dead Girl has at least one headline token, heal her one click. If Dead Girl has at least three headline tokens, when she would be KO'd, instead turn her dial to click three and remove all of her headline tokens. Crikey. So that's supposed to be a free, uh, free resolve. Free resolve. Yeah. Doesn't say once per game either, so that no. could, could repeatedly happen. Yeah. Um, and then Tombstone Talons and Coffin Nails is her attack box out, which yep. is Dead Girl can use Blaze Claws Fangs. Until the end of the turn, characters hit by Dead Girl can't use Stop. Wow. So it can bypass Stop Clicks. Crikey. Which is pretty nasty. Yep. Oh, you can put her up against that big Doomsday. Yeah, yeah that'll eat doomsday. up she that. Could that just, would... She could just punch straight through him. Yeah, so that would eat up. As soon as she hits him, because he is quite hard to hit as well. Uh, yeah, and he just gets worse anyway. Oh, yes. He's just awful. He's just the worst. Yeah. I have one. Well, even like one. even like uh, King Four or something would, would yeah, struggle against that true. as well, because he's got true. multiple stop clicks. Very true. But no, not bad. Very quite very nice. Cool. I do like the sculpt on like, that one. The sculpt is gorgeous. The skulls at the bottom are really awesome, and I'm guessing she's broken out of a morgue. 
She just yeah. left, left her ass behind. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, good yeah. for her. Yeah, looking good. Cool. Well, that's boost number one then. Okay. Right, so uh, on to Rob's pool number two. So bring it on there. Dun dun. A uh, little bit more. Damn it, Dr. Like. Kill Brew face the right way, you yeah. bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? What are we doing? <laughs> what? What? I can't feel my head. All right, so let's start with the most common and work our way through. So that's a Wolverine. We've done this to death. Yes. Long dial. Really. Regen's pretty cool. Long dial, stealth, automatic regeneration. Free thing. Oh, that, yeah. Extra dice thing. There's a card if you don't know it. There's the other card if you don't know it by now. I'm amazed it's not burned into your retinas by now. Yeah. I think we've seen that one enough. Yep. Next okay. is for a madcap. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's quite nice. A little bit of variant. Interesting colour scheme there. Again, a little bit of variant glue, but not, not nearly as bad as Boom Boom. Hmm. So, um, just zoom out a bit and if I can bring the card. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's a madcap. There's a thing there. Um, quite a lot, fairly long card, although not as long as some of the other ones we've seen today. Yeah, true. So, his dial, he's got uh, five clicks of health. Mm -hmm. He um, starts off with sidestep and then has, oh, I'll start with, sorry, plasticity. You know? Yeah, plasticity, sorry. Don't know why I did that. For the rest of the dial. He then has uh, a blank and then four clicks of poison. Okay. Um, he has toughness for two, but then all blanks afterwards. And then he has a blank, three clicks of perplex, and then another blank for um, damage. Okay. Um, he has three different traits. Okay. He has Mercs for Money, which is each time another friendly character with the heroes for higher keyword chaos and opposing character, he or Madcap one click. Okay. One called Boop, which is adjacent opposing characters can't make attacks unless they attack a character named Madcap. Okay. And Instant Healing, when Madcap takes damage, after action resolve, roll a d6 and heal Madcap of half the result. Ah, so he's got the same ones that other Deadpool. Hmm. So he's a... Uh... Okay-ish for I was expecting him to be a bit more powerful for 100 points to be honest. But yeah, yeah. No, he mean. doesn't seem to be. He's not terrible. No, but I've I've seen better for 100. Mm -hmm. So yeah, indeed. So. Right. So next. Thirty-five points. So this is Doctor Killerbrew. Indeed. Okay. He's okay there. Not a bad sculpt. He's obviously modelled off the rogue scientist because he's got the same hair and beard and glasses. Yeah, yeah. He's obviously modelled in the same uh, way. I assume he's more the unique version, basically. Yeah, basically. So um, here is his card. Okay. So we have um, not the longest of dials. He has four clicks of health, yep. two clicks of stealth, and two clicks of sidestep on movement. Mm -hmm. Four clicks of box out all the way through the dial. Yep. No defensive capabilities of which to speak. Yep. He does no damage whatsoever, but has two clicks of outwit and then two clicks of box out on his damage. Okay, so uh, going back to his abilities, he ha his attack box out is called Mutant Enhancement, which is a unique modifier. When an adjacent friendly character hits, if its attack value is higher than its printed value, increase the damage dealt to one hit target by one. Um, and his damage box out is Late Redemption. Dr. Kellebrew can use Perplex, but only to increase combat values. Dr. Kellebrew can use Support, and when he does, replace his attack value with his target's attack value. Okay. Okay, so it might it can be make it easier for him to succeed. Yeah. Okay, so... Cool. Not, not too bad. bad. Not, not too bad. bad at all. Blacksmith's apron. We'll yeah. Against him. Hmm. Alright, next. Have... Uh... Angel Dust caught in a windstorm. Hmm. Actually, technically, it looks like that, so. Okay. Yeah, well, I think it's meant to be a big, a big right hook, but yeah, Maybe. it does look a bit. I've punched my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm using my hair as yeah. an attack. Yeah, take that hair, you dick. <laughs> okay, so uh, bringing the card on. Mm -hmm. Um. Angel Dust is part of the Morlocks, Assassin, Brute, and Soldier keywords. Okay. Um, has a box out attack called Mutant Mixed Martial Artist, which is Angel Dust can use super strength when she attacks a single adjacent opposing character. 
increase your attack value by the number of action tokens the target has. Okay. And uh, Dial is five clicks long. Mm -hmm. She has charge, two blanks, charge and a blank on the movement. Okay. Super strength for two, and then three of the box that I just mentioned with the martial artist. Yeah. And then she has invulnerable for three clicks, and then toughness for two. Um, and no damage abilities, but they're, they're mostly freeze across except two at the end. Okay, not too bad. So pretty good yeah it's not too points, bad not, 60 points is bad. pretty punchy character especially with invulnerable as well which yeah. means it's going to last a little bit longer than the average click i wonder i haven't seen the sculpt in this set but i i, I know there's a negasonic teenage warhead in this one so i wonder if she's a buffed up version of angel dust in terms of how the sculpt looks okay i don't know but uh yeah if you're in the comments why not uh, and then we've got the deadpool Deadpool Still with a uh, weirdly weird pot on his head for some reason. Or something. Yeah. yeah, looks like it. So mm. Peculiar. Yes, so quite a nice... It's a nice an sculpt. odd sculpt, sculpt an but, um, but then again, what would you expect from Deadpool? Well, indeed. So, um, so. bringing his card on. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, just zoom in a it's bit a more again. Um, yeah, so, uh, so he is 75 points got seven clicks on his dial mm -hmm. which goes running shot five clicks of box out and then that, brown that's hypersonic speed isn't it brown is hypersonic yeah, yeah hypersonic speed sorry i was just double checking because i thought that was quite odd for yeah, it is an odd a deadpool one um and then he has energy shield, sorry energy explosion for one and then five clicks of uh, uh precision strike and then energy explosion again okay. he goes toughness Energy shield deflection for two, close combat regularities for three, and then invulnerable for the last one. Okay. And then he has a blank but doing three points of damage on the first clip. Five clicks of just doing one damage but with a box out. Mm -hmm. um, and then he has um, Rage Combat Expert. Rage Combat Expert but doing three points of damage. Wow. So, he, so his last clicks very bitey. Yeah, very much so. Um, so uh, he has the shifting focus ability that the other Deadpools have had. Mm -hmm. um, his movement box out is called Like a Virus, which is okay. when an adjacent opposing character is moved or placed, you may place Deadpool adjacent to that character after actions resolve. Okay. His damage box out is Ride the Rhino, which is Deadpool has tiny size and a range value of 3. Once per turn, when a larger friendly character carries Deadpool and moves at least four squares, after action resolve, Deadpool can make a close or ranged attack. Okay. So, okay. Peculiar. And as usual, lots of random commentary on the uh, abilities. Yes, indeed. So, so his energy shield deflection is, you've made me Howard the Duck sized. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, cool. It's a nice piece though. Yeah. Very so, peculiar, but nice. Cool, that's number two then. Right, so on to Rob's pool number three. All right. So, uh, da -da 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 -da. so um, let's start with communist. Okay, so you're starting with Mad, Mad Cap. Cap. Yep. Okay. And this is the other variant of the Mad Cap that's on the, that was in the previous booster, I think. Okay. This looks more looks more traditional. Yeah. Color schemes than this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's uh, just zoom out a bit so I can show his card. So um. So, so make up this is his card there. It has the Deadpool Core Heroes for Hire and Wild Pack. Okay. Um. That's the dial there. So it's got um five five clicks of health. Got for 100 points. 100 points, That's yeah. So not, yeah, must be, must not. Be some good powers, I guess. It's got sidestep and four clicks of plasticity, a bit like the other one. Okay. Got um, one blank and then four clicks of poison. Okay. Two clicks of toughness and then three blank. And then blank, three clicks of perplex and then another blank. Okay. So weirdly, as I said, not uh, both of these um, mag cats don't appear to be incredibly strong. But no. maybe, or, or not, or maybe we're just, I'm not reading the what makes him so powerful. Yeah. So he has, I'm the Deadpool brand mercenary you hired. Okay, so that's the ability that you can swap out a different Deadpool core character. And yeah, when they get KO'd, yeah. yeah. Um, has Boop again, which is adjacent opposing characters can't make attacks unless they attack a character named Madcap. Okay. 
And then instant healing, which is the roll of d6 and heal half the result. Uh, okay, so those three sound quite useful. Hmm. So, so maybe, maybe it's just keep, he stays in the game longer, maybe. Is oh, especially if you combine that half d6 healing with the adjacent opposing characters not being able to move away from him. Yeah, I think it's the plasticity and the poison. So I think he'd be really good at taking out smaller, like lower point wattage characters, but I don't yeah. think he'd be much against someone who's fairly powerful, like another 100 point toe, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, maybe you're right, actually. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. All right, so... well, he's, I, I, you know, I kind of kind of like this one. Yeah, it's nice thing, uh, yeah as I said, happens. I'm not... I'm not a hundred percent taken on him, but he, yeah, I'm, maybe he works well with the other bits for money at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so we've already done the ninja in a previous booster, yep, so, so we'll briefly touch on her, if you pardon the yep. expression. So bootleg uh, Psylocke. Hydra keyword. Uh, Hydra That's team that. ability rather. It's a card. Dust strike from the shadows, which is ninja can use stealth when ninja occupies hindering terrain. Modify range and damage values by plus one. Cool. And um, obviously, yep, she'll die all four clicks, and it's just that. So it's all through the dial. Okay, we've also done Asp already. So assuming that it's the same one, which I'm guessing um, it is. It looks like it, yep, yep, looks like it's mostly pretty much okay, the same so one again. So, yep, just some regards, same card. Still, still, still got the stuff, idea with the plasticity, great, and then the obviously dealing job. damage as she breaks away. Yep, still a great paint job and still a great sculpt. Yep, still does the damage that gets worse, so three, two, two, one, mm -hmm. And obviously she has the um, bioelectric venom. Yes. But, yep. Okay, so cool. fairly, fairly same card there. Cool. Now we have a slightly different take on one of the characters we've already seen. So a different Stingray, an uncommon one, with translucent plastic. So it ticks all my boxes. Yeah. He's uncommon and translucent. Lovely. So, okay. Um, is his card here. So he is his Stingray. So here is for Hire, Initiative, Armor, Scientist, and Spy. Um, he's got... So, bit of a longer die. He's got six clicks of health okay. at 80 points. He's got the first two clicks, you the flyer. He's got two clicks at running shot, mm -hmm. and then um, four clicks at uh, sidestep. Um, he's got five clicks of energy explosion, and then one click that's blank. Okay. Four clicks of toughness and two blank, and then three clicks of outwit, and then three clicks blank on the damage side of okay. it. So um, he has the maximum money ability, which is the um, obviously when he KOs, they can heal a character one click. Okay. And um, if we're going on a mission, uh, we're going on an aquatic mission. We'll need a deep pool, which is Stingray modifies his defense value by plus two when occupying water. Okay. Um, yeah. So not too bad. Fairly similar in terms of powers to the other one. Yeah. But uh, not 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 an awful one. Not shabby. No. I think uh, yeah, because I think those powers are a bit more that a bit more of a better value than Madcap personally but yeah so that uh, sticking to people might be useful yeah but as I said maybe it's just how I play clicks is different to how other people play maybe. It, so. plus also that sticking to people with plasticity can be a pain yeah so I'm not, not, I'm not, not saying only that they come in with you but that you can't hit them hmm. alright now okay. finally so this is your Super rarest rare. pull yep. which is a uh, Strife I think it's the rarest one I pulled all get all I think it up. might be it's a unique as well I think it might be the most powerful as well, because I think it's a little bit more powerful than that Dreadpool. Okay. So he's 135 points. So he is okay. the single or strongest character I think we've pulled today. So, let's dial this stiff. There we go. Okay, so I'll just zoom in so we get a bit of a look, because it's hard to see the face there. Yeah, better? okay. Yeah, that's a bit better. Cool. So I'm um, just bringing the card on. So, Strife is part of the Mutant Liberation Front, mm -hmm. Armour and Future. Okay. Um, it has a trait called the Legacy Virus, which is when Strife is KO'd, choose a named keyword. Opposing characters with that keyword are dealt penetrating damage equal to half of their current click number. Bloody hell. So, that's, that's really horrible. Yeah. Um, He's got a box out attack called Mind Over Matter, which is Strife can use telekinesis, but he can use it as a free action and if he's been given a non-free action this turn. And um, a box out damage, which is Dawn of a New Age, which is Strife can use leadership and outwit. Wow. So um, just having a look at the dial. Fairly long dial, six clicks. Um, starts off with stealth, then has um, mind, mind control. control by the looks of it. Yeah. And um, then two points of running shot and then stealth again. Okay. 
-hmm. has three clicks of the um, box out damage, uh, box out attack that I mentioned earlier, and then three clicks of pulse wave, okay. um, two clicks of invulnerability, three clicks of toughness, and then one of regen, okay. and then the box out damage, two clicks of uh, ranged combat expert, and then three clicks of the box out. Cool. Um, f all three damage a lot cost of it except the last click, which does four damage. Crikey. So, yeah, he's quite a horrible he's one. He's pretty cool, I have to say. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so nice. That's uh, booster number three. Yes. And that's the, say, so far at least, that's the best one we've pulled. Mm, definitely. Cool. So, uh, here we are with um, Rob's pull number four. So, bringing that on there. Uh, Look at that. Okay. Thing of goddamn beauty right there. Yeah, yeah looking good. Right, so, start, start coming. Okay. Work our way so up. So, who are we starting with first? Uh, Chipmunk Hunk. So that's one of my wishes fulfilled because obviously I'm thrilled about this piece. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't give a shit. I'm yeah. guessing it's a Squirrel Girl character. Uh, probably a safe assumption, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say. Um, card isn't the most uh, impressive. Well, that. So he's Chipmunk Hunk. He's an animal. Mm -hmm. um, he's got a box out movement called Defeater of Punks and Other Junk. Okay. Which is um, Chipmunk can use uh, Chipmunk Hunt can use Leap Climb and Stealth. When he uses Leap Climb after actions resolve, he can use Quake as a free action. Oh, cool. Okay. So it's all like a running jump, I suppose. Yeah, kind of. And um, has Perplex as his other ability. Mm -hmm. His um, dial is only four clicks long. His movement has all of that box out across the whole top. Yep. He's blank for everyone else. Um, he has a damage of two, a damage of one, and then the Perplex is on the last two damage clicks. Okay. Okay. Um watch the right hand about that. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> twenty points. I mean, what you get for twenty points really. Yeah. Speaking of twenty so, points, next character has twenty points as well. Attending. Attending. So who's part of the Weapon X team? Okay. I assume that's why he's got the massive A on his head. Yeah, nothing says Weapon X like a big A. <laughs> um okay. So there might be his mutant power, he's got an enormous aim. <laughs> So he has a trait called I'd rather talk to your friends. When attending dam damages a single opposing character with an attack, give an action token to each other opposing character that has no action tokens and is within six squares and line of fire of the damaged character. Ooh, okay. So he basically bad. does an in-cap to people around them. Yeah. These lines of fire can't ignore characters of or terrain. Okay. Um, okay. Oh it's Francis. Oh, okay. I didn't realise he was I called. Francis it. was Ajax. It's called attending here, but the, the exploit weakness is called "Call me Francis one more time." Oh, so okay. I assume it is. Must Either be Francis, Francis or somebody mistaken for Francis. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, it is Francis. Yeah. So, um, not a pretty, imp not a really impressive thing. Mm. So, so it's uh, yeah, pretty much nothing on most results except the exploit weakness at the bottom. Okay. So, but that trait, I think, is what makes him, really. Yeah. So, because it's obviously quite a horrible trait, and again, only 20 points. Yeah. Not bad. So, yeah, not bad. So, who we got next? So, this is Dark Deadpool. Okay. He looks like he's in a body stocking. Yeah. His dark gimp suit, by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, got a chainsaw there, is that what he's packing? Yeah. Looks like it. Okay. Um, so Dark Deadpool is unsurprisingly part of the Deadpool Corps, Weapon X, Assassin, Martial Artist and Soldier. Mm -hmm. This is his uh, card here. So, um, let's go through his dial first of all. Mm -hmm. So he is 85 points, he has 7 clicks of health. He has 3 clicks of box out movement, 2 clicks of charge and then 2 clicks of box out movement. Has two clicks of penetrating psychic blast, three clicks of blades, claws, fangs, and then two clicks of pulse wave. Okay. It goes mm, toughness, close combat reflexes, toughness, close combat reflexes, and then three clicks of regen. Okay. And then it has oh, what's that? Shape change. Yep, yeah, sorry. So shape change, three clicks of close combat expert, and then three clicks of shape change again. To be honest, it's not very clear. These, oh no, it's exploit weakness. Sorry, not, Do very, not right. very clear on this. If you said it was leadership, I'd have believed you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's three clicks of shape change and then exploit weakness for. Sorry, there. 
It, so it's a click of um, shape change, three clicks of exploit weakness, and then three clicks of shape change. Right, fair enough. It's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, not bad. So his real name, Wade Wilson, brackets of Earth. Okay. Question mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. What I'm guessing is there's some conjecture about whether he's from Earth. Yes, which yeah, I see. He is Earth. from the Deadpool Kills Deadpool, uh, which okay. I think is the same series as that Dreadpool comes from. Yes, I well. believe you're right. So next, uh, Solo, who looks like the mercenary, which initially threw me, and I thought it was a duplicate. Okay. But it's actually not. It's an uncommon, yeah. similar, but not the same. No, yeah, he's part of Heroes for Hire, Six Pack, and Soldier. Okay. I'll just bring his card on. So he has the Mercs for Money trait, which is the hero here you click when um, they KO someone. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he has a movement box that's called Teleporting Terror. Okay. Which is give Solo a free action and place him in any square within four squares in which he would have an opposing character within his range and line of fire. Mm. So that's not bad. Yeah, so he can just bump, bump himself into. So he range. can, yeah, so he can be. Range can seven just get in the well. That's pretty impressive. So he's got. Um, so he has um, that movement box set for the first two clicks of his dial, mm -hmm. then running shot for two clicks, and then um, phasing teleport for two clicks. Okay. Uh, blank for two clicks on attack, then precision strike for two clicks, and then black back to blank. Okay. Um, he has invulnerability for the first two, toughness after that, and then willpower after that. Okay. And then his damage is three clicks, three points of damage for the first four clicks, and then two points of damage, but with ranged combat expert on the last two. Cool. So 75 points, not bad actually. I no, think, right. Again, I think he's one of the stronger of the uh, Mercs for Money. He's surprisingly good. So, uh, or, or the Heroes for Hire anyway. Yeah. yeah. And then finally, the Super Rare. Actually, he might be... Oh, he's not quite the most powerful. No. He's pretty cool though. Can you squirrel go villain by the looks of it? Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. He's beefy. Although he is part of the Sinister Syndicate, so he could, I suppose you could argue he's a Spider-Man villain as well. Yeah. So, Which is Swarm. Uh, which I do think that's a nice, nice sculpt actually. Yeah, agreed. So um, just bring his card on. So he, yes, as I said earlier, he's Sinister Syndicate and Scientist. The flyer. Just so I can say that. Mm -hmm. um, he has a trait of only the Queen matters, which is unless the attack roll is doubles, Swarm takes no more than one damage from attacks. Crikey. So he's on here for a while. Just clicks down gradually. So orphan swarms. Which is, which is his box out attack, which is each time Swarm hits an opposing character after action resolve, put a B Swarm bystander, which is details at the bottom here. Mm -hmm. The B Swarm has a movement box out, um, poison and it was super senses and also tiny size. Wow. The box out is B Swarm actions do not count against your action total. Ah, okay. So, yeah, so it's just going to, well, make sure you get prepare a few of them before you start the game, I suppose. Yeah. So, but looks like he's got some nasty powers on his dial. He's six clicks long. Mm -hmm. Got three clicks of running shot and then three clicks of hypersonic speed. Okay. Um, three clicks of that box out with the uh, covered in bees. Yep. And uh, three clicks of precision strike after that. Okay. Has super senses all the way through the dial. Not the highest defense, but as you, as you said, he only takes one damage unless you roll doubles. Yes. And then he has... Um, oh, we had this earlier. So, well, I've done it again. So, yeah, has show change for three clicks and then um, outwit for three clicks after that. Cool, very uh, nice indeed. Yeah, not bad for 120, to no, be honest. They're pretty all. powerful. Yeah, very good. Um, range of five with two lightning bolts as well. Cool, that's um, number four then. I hope you enjoyed that. Right, so last but not least is uh, Rob's pool number five. So, if Rob can now bring it on with his X Force thing. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Yep. Okay, so let's see. So we've got a few dupes in this one, so okay. we can skip through. No dupes, but dupes. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, so we've got the rogue scientist. So we've already seen him pop up in uh, your last one. Yeah. So uh, right. yeah, we're seeing that. So he has the will to do the day weapons for food ability, which is he can use outwit adjacent character with equal higher points, maybe giving an action a power action to use outwit until your next turn. Mm -hmm. And obviously sidestep, yep. and um, obviously only got three clicks. So. Sure. Okay. Next. Similarly, we've also seen this one. Tippy toe. Okay. There's tippy toe there. Zoom in again on him. Um, yep. As you know, a tippy toe. Uh, only twenty-five points. Only three clicks of health. Got leap climb. 
the box set attack, which is the one where they can do damage from eight squares to yeah. hindering train. That's a pretty nifty power, I think. If you had Squirrel Girl, it'd go nicely with it. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. I think it's a good buff piece, really. Yeah. So, uh, only 25 points. We also had a cable. So, we'll skip lightly yeah. over him to a point. So, cable, yep, yeah, is 120 points. Yep. Yeah. Very cool, nice X-Men garb. Cool. Um, obviously, it's got the, uh, it has stealth as a trait. Yep. Um, as I said, the but fading teleport ability, we can move five squares and then make an attack, a closer range attack. Nice. Um, a box out defense with the invulnerability, but less than two sh action tokens. He's got energy shield deflection as well. Okay. And obviously quite a damaging, because it's got like prob with four damage on his first click, stuff like that. But um, yeah, obviously we've already got, we've gone over all this. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, he's a very, very nice, a very powerful model, really, for 120 points as well. Yeah, indeed. And then a new one, which we don't, we haven't seen so far. In fact, I've never seen this one. Very cool indeed. Phantom X. Okay. Yep. There is a Phantom X in the um, Fast Forces, I believe. Oh, okay. Or unless I'm wrong and I pulled him, I do have one somewhere. <laughs> but yeah. Where exactly? I can't remember. Okay, so um, Phantom X is part of the Weapon X, X-Force, Assassin, Martial Artist and Spy keywords. I love that sculpt. So, yes, it's nice. I quite really like the really um, cool. paint job where the, like, the lines are very yeah. striking as Clearly well. Yeah, defined. Yeah. Not like the faffy ones they've done in the past. So, uh, just bringing the card on. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, he has two traits, which is X-Force, which, is which it means he can use stealth, like um, Cable. Yeah. And uh, Reality Skewing and EVA. Okay. Phantom X can use Shape Change. Phantom X can use Probability Control, but only while he's attacking. Okay. Okay. So if, um, he's got no box out abilities from what I can see. So let's just have a look at his dial. Okay. So um, on his dial, he's only got six clicks of health. He's got two clicks of running shot, two clicks of flurry, and two clicks of sidestep. Mm -hmm. Then he has two clicks of energy explosion, two blank clicks, and then two clicks of precision strike. Got two clicks of super senses, three clicks of um, close combat reflexes, and then super senses again. Okay. Then he has two blank damage, then three three clicks of uh, perplex, and then one blank click. But he's got damage of three across four of his clicks, and then two on the last two. That's pretty good. So yeah, not he's pretty strong for a hundred points. I'd yeah, say great. not not a bad one. Couldn't agree more. And then last but by no means least. Howard the Duck. Yay. Got a Howard Unique and rare. Mm -hmm. Unique Howard the Duck. Uh, Swimmer. Of course. Unsurprisingly. <laughs> I like that sculpt. It's quite good. So, um, Howard the Duck is got the Defenders, Animal, Celebrity, Martial Artist, Mystical and Politician keywords. Okay. He had, so just bring his card on. Um, his trait is the Master of Quack Fu, which is how the duck can use sidestep. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll just go through his dial first before going through his other abilities. Arm. No. Um, he is a swimmer. He's got two clicks of stealth and then three clicks of flurry. Mm -hmm. Has um, a blank, three clicks of a box out, and a blank on his attack. Okay. Um, two clicks of uh, close combat reflexes and then three clicks of uh, super sensors at the, on his defense. Mm -hmm. And then three clicks of a box out on his damage, and then two blanks. But he does have tiny size. Yes, indeed. If you couldn't tell. Mm -hmm. um, so his box out on his attack is foul mouthed, which is how a duck can use incapacitate. When he does, he may target all adjacent opposing characters. Cool. And um, his box out on his damage is we can do this the wrong way or my way, which is at the beginning of your turn, choose a standard power an adjacent friendly character can use. Until your next turn, all characters within six squares and line of fire of how the duck can't use the chosen power. Wow. So, like a pretty... Buffed up outwit. Yeah, yeah, so... Nice. But obviously specific to a specific power, which to, to a friendly character, though, so it's a bit of a weird yeah, outwit. That is a nice one. But, um, yeah, not bad. Nice, so, yeah, cool. Look, 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 nice model. All right, well, that's all our boosters. So, so uh, now we just have to build a team. Ooh. All right, so we've opened our brick, yeah. and we have our contents in front of us here. So you've been more sensible when it comes to choosing stuff, in a way. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not 
down on my choice, but it is different in the, probably in a worse way. Uh, Apart from that, I'm not down on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but a couple of things before we. So what we're going to do is we're going to now build a 600 point team. Okay. And at some point in the not too distant future, we will reconvene using okay. said team. We will have a booster battle, yes. the the follow up booster battle from the original booster battle. Yes. Because so. um, in 2018, I want to play more Hero Fleet. Yeah. Which and is fine. You know ultimately the gist of why we're doing the the new style booster battle let us know what you think in the comments hopefully by yeah. now you'll have had the chance because there'll have been a few of these yeah uh, so um a couple of questions before we do our team build thoughts on the set in terms of the figures i think the sculpts in general have been fairly strong okay so i mean i quite like there's, a, there's some nice varied things yep um obviously a few doubles throughout the whole uh Big, but that's to be expected yeah, really. Some of them are okay, like ninjas you can have a few of those. Big home old blows, I mean uh, you know, uh, we got a few Wolverines in the whole we set. Did. We, we got did. about three of them, didn't we? I think. He seems pretty cool, so maybe we'll be uh, able Yeah, to... he's not a bad model, but I mean you're not gonna want well, unless you want to have a weird fantasy team of multiple Wolverines, but maybe there's there's gotta be a player out there with just unlimited bubs. Yeah. But um bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Bob, 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 Basically Bob, the frog Bob, song. Bob, Bob, yeah. Bob. 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 <laughs> okay, but, so, I mean, but in general, the, the, it's been fairly varied. I okay, think. cool. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on this brick? But to, in particular. So talking, so ex outside Not of the Not necessarily set, the set. Just, just um, the stuff that we've pulled. I think we've had an alright. I know, I know we didn't get a chase or anything, but the, the super rares that we've pulled are pretty good super rares. I think that strife is it's horrible. Nice. Yeah. It's so like very really yeah, good. The feeling he's a bastard. Yeah, just the think, vibe. Yeah, um, dead dead girl thing is a lovely sculpt. Mm -hmm. so, um, I really like this prime Deadpool sculpt as well. I know obviously the it seems to be getting further away every time we look at it. Yeah, so, uh, maybe it just needs it needs these gluing on. I'm sure. Yeah, either you either you glue it if well if you can fix it to the gun, maybe, boil it back uh, a bit and move it across. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, in general, I think it's a nice sculpt. Anyway. Yeah, I agreed. think it's a nice idea. Yeah, uh, and then third question: your pick of your pulls. Um, the fan of uh, the fan of me just because I really liked um, the uh, the. I like the character and obviously I like, I like from the comics I do like the tombstones in it yep. so I do like if I was to go from a fan perspective fan perspective I'm glad that there's a tombstone in there yep um, in terms of well in, yeah, there's uh, three different ways I'd probably go because I'd say if I was to go for most oddest Dial, but really, as I said, is it is the most interesting dial. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that the Dreadpool okay. is quite is a very decent, good choice model. Mm -hmm. Um, I quite like your swarm as well, though. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, so I'd say it would be one of those two. Really. Yeah, so I concur in terms of the set. I'm quite positive on this set. Um, mm. I think it's a nice blend of characters. They've got, even though they've got multiple instances of some of the characters like Deadpool and Madcap and Full Killer, yeah. they're different in, me in not just the dial, they're also different sculpts and things like that. So they've yeah. really made an effort for me to differentiate. Be a bit more varied. And also, yeah. if you did buy and get multiple of them, you could build different teams out of it. Yes, you know, exactly. If you you could have, have to rely you know, on a full set of Heroes for Hire in two different instances, which is always cool. Um, in terms of the brick, I think we've pulled relatively well. Um, like, like you said, no chases, but a few super rares. So three out of ten had super rares in them, which is quite good. Yeah. So um, and then my pick of my pulls would probably be Dead Girl, just because okay. I really love that sculpt. Yeah, it's it a very good sculpt. So uh, agree with that. Overall, I really like that cable. I don't have a cable, so I'm pleased. He have a cable. is surprisingly bitey, yes. but not that. Remote, and actually right? the dark Deadpool is kind of cool as well with the chainsaw thing and the dark sort mm. of latex gimp suit <laughs> yeah. look. Uh, and then the full killer just looks like a badass robot. Mm. And I know he's not, but it's, I, I can dream. Yeah. No, so. um, but yeah, I think there's a few good ones in here. So the Phantom X is quite nifty. Um, the Wolverine is cool, even though we've got loads of him. So yeah, got as I said, I, I overall I prefer the Fast Horses. Stripes of Bastards. 
yeah yeah but uh, overall let's say overall for me it's a it's a good set i like yeah. it and Although, i'm glad you know glad we had this brick hmm. glad we had this chance to break yeah <laughs> <laughs> um with no fury this time yeah but you know on break fury <laughs> yeah it's another episode <laughs> <laughs> right so with that all said it's time to build our 600 point force for our later rumble okay. so I'll take your pieces and my have a I'll look now while we're doing this much as i did with joe i'm going to ask you a couple of questions about team building about okay. your personal experience of team building so when you're playing a standard so let's say it's a normal standard 300 point game okay how do you build a team so when i tend to build a team i like to go op as fuck but uh, <laughs> apart from that <laughs> yeah, but maybe it's because of the way I build my team, people find me OP as fuck, and maybe it's, it's not intentional. To be clear, I mean, for, for those who aren't familiar, who watch uh, toy box videos, Brick Fury and so on, obviously all of our Emotion 14 Hero Flix properties, mm -hmm. um, Blake is the, the running, Blake's not the running joke, that's a horrible way of phrasing it, mm -hmm. um, there is a running joke that Blake is OP as all hell, and ultimately mm -hmm. it's because Blake wins a lot. Yeah, I don't win all the time. No, not by any uh, means. You know, because as Joe will easily protest, he wins quite a lot. As he well. does win a few. He does. He yeah. won a few. I've, in fact, I think of the people who uh, we play with. So it's a lot of people from E14. Mm. Um, in fact, it's everybody on E14 except Paul now. I think is or everybody who plays is now part well, Paul of E14. Part of E14 but, no, uh, yeah, we've tried. Um, but it's up to him. It's his choice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, of the people who play. I think I'm the only one who's not won a big game. Yeah. I've come close a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, I was going to say, surely you've come close. I've never won one. You've outlasted me once, or a couple yes. of times. Yes. Because it's, I think I've had... As I said, sometimes I could just say, you know, as, as games go, you can just be really unlucky and get taken out quite quickly. It has so, been known to happen for me. So... Definitely won. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, when I build a team, I tend to, I normally try and go for theme team a lot of the time. Okay. I don't know why, because I know the whole point of Heroflix is that you don't have to, but I don't know why. I seem to go, oh, I'm going to make an Avengers team and an X-Men team. But because of my collection of clicks, I tend to maybe make, I might try and make, I may even go to the point where I make three or four teams. Yep. And then decide on the day which one I'm actually going to take. Okay. Which I don't know why I do that because sometimes, that. even though I've done that and I've gone, I'll, I'll go through it all and I'll go, no, this team is obviously stronger than all the others, so I'll just go with that one. Yeah, I've actually brought several teams to a game before and rolled the dice mm. and just decided based on that. Yeah, quite common. The other part of it is I've, I've normally intentionally, uh, I normally try to field someone I've not fielded before in my in my collection okay. as well because I mean, okay, my team might have a couple of guys or a person I've used before but I try and at least have one new one in every game okay because I don't you know because I would you know the only time I if I I mean if I can use more new ones I will yep so but right. the idea is that I get to see how they play I mean if they I mean okay I might fall back more on clicks I know yep if it was some if it was a bigger game and more was on stake for example yeah I can, I can understand but you know in general I find that sometimes, you know, you don't know how some how good someone is, you know. Yeah. Like, I mean, the last Rumble where we, I took completely characters I've never used before, I found out that um, Devil Dinosaur and Dr. Mnemonicus are complete Bastards. Yeah. They are, and I love them. Yeah, and I never knew them. And I mean, I've had those models for quite a while, and I've never fielded them. So. Yeah, indeed. So it's quite nice to give them a try to just to find out how bitey they are, really. Yeah. So. And I'm getting on. So I've got two, hmm. nine, five so far. Yeah, the other part of it is more from a gamer perspective rather than obviously a, fa a comic aficionado. Yeah. Is I will try and build my team around the, to try and complement each other. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like if I have a close combat guy, I would have range guys normally to back them up or yeah. something like that, you know. So, I normally have try and have a mix. Yes. So that I, you know, so there's no, no sensible. So, it's not a wise thing, you know. Because I've had it where I've unintentionally, unintentionally had all close combat guys and they've all just all been picked off by range guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is, even though, you know, obviously close combat guys are tend to be harder hitting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, is there anything you particularly do in your team? No, I mean, I t I, it's quite common for me to 
pick a character I want to build a team around. Yeah. Often it's one who takes up a decent chunk of the points available because it's somebody the hard hitter or um, you know just something I really want to play with. Um, probably one of my favourite teams to play. Do you remember when we had that big 600 point rumble? Um, when I met took the Thor Chariot. Remember that um, one? Oh yes. My yes. team for that was Red Skull, 200 point Red Skull, Count Nefaria, Scarlet Witch and Wonder Woman. And that oh, was a fun okay. team to play. Hmm. Wonder Woman was fucking useless in that particular instance. But um, yeah, that can remember, happen. Sometimes you can have a pretty good model and they just don't work for that particular game. Yeah, um, I remember, um, what's it called? Scarlet Witch was very, very good. Uh, she came in very handy. Yeah. Lee and I've had ones which I thought, oh, these guys, this guy's going to do loads of damage, and just they, doesn't happen. it just yeah. doesn't happen with that character. And yet, a character who I thought, oh, I, I just put him in as an afterthought, if you know yeah. what I mean, thinking that, oh, yeah, they just make up the points and they'll probably die. Yeah. They have carried the game for me. <laughs> it was weirdly done quite well. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Some of these are awkward point numbers, which is making, because it's quite late when we're recording, yeah. it's making my mental maths quite difficult to accomplish. Yeah, I normally get my phone out and do it, use the calculator. What am I thinking? Of course. Yeah. That's, my, that's way easier. So. That's what I tend to use when I build teams. So. Yeah, I use the um, HC Manager app on Android, which is quite handy and quite cheap, as I recall. So if you're a Heroclix player on Android, HC Manager is well worth your time. And small amount of money. Uh, and then 120, 365, so 235 left. Oh. Surprisingly hard to build 600, isn't it? Hmm. In a way. It can be, yeah. Depends what, you, what you're building it with, because obviously if you're, and I mean, like obviously as I said earlier, we're playing a big game at time of recording in a few days. Yeah. And... Um, but that is just a, it's a 600 point rumble, bring mm -hmm. all, bring, bring you, you know, bring Time all you want. All, yeah. And, you know, obviously I have some heavy hitters I've not used, so that's why I've intentionally, yeah. you know. I'm doing the opposite, I'm carrying a, I'm You're carrying a larger force. A larger force of smaller characters mm. that uh, should hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. I mean, the, the most likely scenario is I get my ass handed to me because that's usually what happens. But at the same time, if it's fun, I don't really care that much. Yeah. If I wasn't having fun playing the games with you guys, I would well, you have wouldn't be. You would, yeah. Ago, I so if, you were, if you didn't I mind think. having your ass handed to you, you wouldn't be. Quite so. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's three fifty. Make that about three fifty. All right. Got forty points left. Oh, that's annoying. Be really nice to play that character. Do you know what? Actually, I'm actually tempted to replace him. Minus one twenty plus eighty-five. So plus when you choose the character with shifting focus, do you just pay for one and then just use the other? Yeah, the other one goes on your sideline, I think. So I have seventy-five points left to play with. Do you know what? That one looks cool. Right, I'm good. Let me just check to see how many characters that is, and I'll start pulling them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, well, that's seven, seven for 600 is not bad. All right, so we've chosen our teams. There's a yeah. small amount of stuff that you may or may not have been privy to that may have been edited out here and there. But yeah. uh, the, the gist is we've had a no lovely chat <laughs> and uh, we've had a chance to sit and choose our teams. So we have our 600 point teams. So uh, Blake, why don't you talk us through your team first? Okay, um, I've decided to go for a team of... Oh, you missing one? I've missed one, one. sorry, my oh. mistake. Okay. That's better. All right. Um, I've gone for a team of Cable, Dreadpool, okay. Tombstone, yep. Full Killer, okay. Jackhammer, yep. Feral, okay. and two of the Deadpools, but obviously one was going to be sidelined for the Shifting Focus ability. Cool. All right. Excellent. So that's a 
What is it? We worked out five ninety five. Yes, that right? comes to five hundred ninety five. Okay. Well, I've always got ID cards if you want to borrow them. That's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be alright. For the sake of five yeah. points, I'm sure. It's, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's not going to be a massive difference. It's like a Blake handicap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll talk you through mine. So mine it consists of full killer. Uh, I've got Dark Deadpool, Phantom X, Wolverine. Cable, definitely a theme here. Deadpool with his fancy hat, okay. and Dead Girl. Okay. So I was originally going to go for an X Force team because I had a few characters that were X Force, and then I realised that half the ones I wanted were your pulls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so um, I have my. So this is exactly six hundred points. I think it will make for an entertaining team. Yeah. And uh, it's a nice balance of range and people look who look to be more suited to close combat. Yeah, and I really, really want to try this dead girl out because for me, she is my pick of the pools. So mm. you know, uh, I really want to see how good she, whether she's as good in against uh, living as she is against remotes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to go away anyway. Yeah. And in, in general, in the not too distant future, we will reconvene. We will take these figures and we will play a game for your enjoyment and ours yeah so um thank you blake for joining me no, on this thank you very much for having me as you sure. battle and brick unboxing. so now we're going to go away and find out which one blake gets to take home for his time today <laughs> so um on behalf of blake thank you for watching the e14 toy box let us know what you think of the booster battle format we're using uh, if you like it then let us know because obviously it's always nice to hear that it's working yeah. and if you if there's something you do differently let us know that too because we're always open to change um, so thank you for watching the E14 Toy Box and bye for now. <laughs>